Fuck. Hello. <laughs> oh boy, morning streaming, huh? It is early. I don't like this. <laughs> it's fine. Let me get some more light. I know my avatar is being a bitch. There we go. That should be a little bit better. No? <sighs> okay, whatever. I am really looking for. Why is it. Okay, I was gonna say, why is the video not picking up? But that was weird. Whatever. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the remakes. I have been wanting to play the remakes of Diamond Pearl for a long time. And. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it's just, it's just, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to this. Like, I know, okay, the last one had that one thing with the art. Oh my gosh, this is what morning stream is going to be. I am so tired. The last, the, <laughs> the last time we saw the game, everyone was like mad because the art style was just bounced off a lot of people. I thought it was fine. I didn't really have a problem with it too much, I don't think. But, um, I think that... Oof, oof. I didn't really have too much of a problem with it at first. But what was interesting was there was like some magazine or something that had a bunch of like image. No, it was it was um, one of the other Nintendo Directs they were talking about. Program. Why are my eyes bugging out so much? Let me recalibrate. Um, but anyway, yeah, there was some um, behind the scenes. You get to see behind the scenes. Cool. Okay, anyway, there was some magazine that was like, oh, hey, or no, it was another director's like, oh, hey, here's all the Pokemon stuff. And I was like, oh, cool. And then a bunch of people noticed that when they zoomed in on the Diamond Pearl things, the Diamond Pearl things had a, had a, um, Uh, had different had different models and it looked different and we were thinking it's like maybe it's because the in-game battles the in-game battle models for the china characters looked like maybe that's just like it handled differently but it looked a whole lot better like i i didn't have a problem with it the first time but it just looked a lot lot better so i'm really excited to see like was the art style they showed off in the trailer kind of just like a first draft and it is going to look better or if that was just kind of how the game is going to look because it, it is kind of like it's kind of that oh my gosh the thing is that like you look at uh link's awakening dx on the same console and it's kind of hard to like not compare the two i think where um with uh with the just just this, like the models themselves i didn't think they looked bad but it was like man they could have looked way 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 better and that's annoying but whatever um the other thing what was it there was one more thing i wanted to talk about but my brain's just empty oh oh weird so the capture goes away if i click away from the window that's not usual. Ah. Yes. The other thing I wanted to say is like, okay. Dynamax is like my favorite Pokemon. Oh, no, I'm not clicked on the window anymore. And it's still interesting. Wait, if I, let's say what happens if I just click on a different Chrome window. Does that kill it? Hang on, I'm in the wrong one. Uh, no. Weird. I wonder if it seems to be weird. But yeah, Dynamax is my favorite like thing Pokemon has done in years. Like at all. And I know with like Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire they kept um they kept the um Mega Evolution and the Z moves not Z moves weren't there yet, but they kept the Mega Evolution. And they did write write it into the plot somehow, so they wrote like um the, the whole Zinnia stuff and the whole alternate universe and you need to use Mega Evolution to destroy the meteor because if we send the meteor to the alternate universe we're going to blow up original Ruby Sapphire and that was cool. That was really cool. Like that was really really cool. 
I'm really wondering if they're going to write in Dynamax into uh, this game or if they're just going to kind of ignore it. Not ignore it, but if they're just going to kind of... Like, yeah, are they going to do nothing? Like, are they not going to put Dynamax in this game at all? Which would be bad shit. Because Dynamax is such a good mechanic for a competitive Pokemon. I really, really like the team building options it gives you. And, like, I think it works really way better than Mega Evolution ever did. I think it works way better than Zebus ever did. Like, the fact that you can, any Pokemon can just pop it with no, like, no worried about held item, not worried about, like, anything else. And, like, it's not, like, unique to each Pokemon, but each Pokemon uses it differently. Like, you can have Gyarados using it one way, you can have my Heliolisk, which is completely not viable unless I use it with, uh with a mega evolution or somebody on my team using mega evolution to get like electric terrain or a sunny day up or whatever it's just yeah i'm really really curious how that's going to turn out <sighs> <sighs> sorry it is a morning stream and i am very tired <laughs> But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really want to see how um, Dynamax turns out. Or if they like put something new in. Or how Dynamax is going to play into Pokemon Arceus. So maybe there will be something new in Pokemon Arceus. Because yeah, we haven't even talked about that. Like Pokemon Arceus looks really interesting. Because I remember looking at it and it's like, oh no, it's got a lot of the same graphical problems that Sword of Shield has. But again, like, do you think it's going to look better? Do you think it's going to look like the first DLC campaign for Sword and Shield? Which actually looked like fucking good. Because I think that first DLC looked great in almost every case. So I kind of do have some high hopes. And like the, tra the trailer they showed for Pokemon RCS before, like, it looks fine, I guess. How long are we doing? How long are we doing? Premieres in two minutes. Oh, we're going to have to do that stupid YouTube premiere thing with the countdown, aren't we? Annoying. <laughs> <sighs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Dun, dun, dun. Why are even these recommended videos? I kept trying to refresh and get like some of the recommended videos off that I just didn't really want to see right now. And not that I wanted to get rid of it, just didn't want to see it. I realized like, oh, thank God I can <laughs> sort of. Oh, they're on the screen now. Well, whatever. Who cares? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, Pokemon Legends Arceus, like, what are they going to do for the um, Dynamax? Because if, I think it's really, the Dynamax is written into Stardust and Shield's world really well. And, like, the stadiums and all that are, like, a really, really good uh, way of kind of... Good morning, Kamu! I love Pokemon! And boy, am I tired! <laughs> but yeah, 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 I'm just so excited for Pokemon Legends Arceus. I just want to know what it is. Because that's the other thing where it's like, I'm going to play it. Because I'm a big fucking mark for Pokemon. Pokemon's like my favorite fucking franchise. You can kind of tell by my username. But, like, holy shit. What is this game going to be? Is it just going to be Sword and Shield Wild Areas, the game? Which I would, I would want. That's what everyone wants. But like, also, is it going to be big? If it's Sword and Shield Wild Areas, the game, like the Sword and Shield Wild Areas, take a lot of dev time. And I, I get that that's what the DLCs kind of look like, because they were just really big wild areas, and that would be great. Like, genuinely, I'm not complaining about that, especially if they have like two franchises from now on. But what is it? And how would that work? A full game as a wild area. You know what I mean? Like the DLCs kind of work because they were just like nothing plot lines with fun wild areas. And what are they going to do to make it different? Because I'm not, I, I, as much as I'm like down for it, just a big wild area, like the game's got to be different. Oh, it does have that, this stupid countdown thing. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. 
Oh my gosh, I am so excited, but like, oh boy, it is, it do be 9 o'clock in the a.m. I was in a Discord call last night, and, oh yeah, I was in a Discord call last night watching some of the Digimon movies, and I'm like making jokes about how I have to be up at fucking 9 a.m. to watch the Pokemon Direct. <laughs> my one true love, the Pokemon Direct. It is, oh my gosh. Um, oh yeah, after this, we're probably going to go ahead into Showdown and just mess around in Showdown for a bit. I don't know how long we'll go, because I am very tired. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Up oh, 60 seconds, thank god. But yeah, no, we're, uh... Oh, live chat is disabled for this premiere. Excellent. That's exactly what I want to see for a Pokemon Direct. <laughs> Alright, let's pause this. And then let's full screen this and then I had a I had a system there we go and let's just turn the sound on let me know how the sound is if this is too loud um, it might be too loud just because the premiere thing is fucking loud for no reason I guess there is a decent reason that they don't want you to Ugh. they don't want you to um like blow your ears out in case the main video is loud but if it's also if it's too quiet then let me know we'll mess around with the settings it's fine it's fine Pikachu I love you oh that's quiet Oh, I don't care about Pokemon Unite. It's a MOBA pay to win. I don't want to. Okay, I love Pokemon with my whole soul. And I'm like, I, I love it. But anytime that there's like a mobile game, I pretend it's not real. Because they're all bad. There's that other one, like the Pokemon like cafe garbage thing. That was just like a match three. And it's like, I don't care. I do care a little bit because it's Pokemon, but I pretend I don't care. <laughs> oh, I don't care. I truly do not care about Unite license. What the fuck? Okay, if that's the only thing for Pokemon Unite, then I'm okay. Because they, they advertised it on, like, the Diamond Pro remake and Pokemon Legends Arceus. That's what they said on the tweet. That's what they said. It's going to be about... And they'll probably just announce a new character for Pokemon Unite and then move on, right? That's probably what's going to happen. And finally, I'd like to give you all a preview of some of the Pokemon that are slated to join in future updates. Yep. There we go. I fucking knew it. You know, I'd be, like, hype about this because I love Mamoswine and I love Talonflame, but boy. Oh, Sylveon! I love you. I have a, on my jacket, I have a pin of Sylveon. It's a pin of Sylveon and Ditto hanging out. And I'm like, oh, that's going to be a dog whistle for trans people to notice, right? Trans people are going to notice this. And then I got that, and then uh, the pandemic hit, and I haven't been able to test that theory. <laughs> oh, God damn it! this is the one I just said, gave as an example. It's the garbage one I don't care about. <laughs> I don't care. See, like, I think I would care if there definitely wasn't going to be a stamina bar in this game. Because I'm, like, 80% sure there's a stamina bar. Also, the battery drain is probably wild, isn't it? Is this a gotcha game? This has to be a gacha game. There's no way it's not. The art style is very cute, though. Those those little like minions or whatever. Mm 
Okay, we're gonna make it through this, guys. We get, we got this. We gotta, we're gonna make it through this. It's okay. I, I don't care about anything that is stinks of gotcha. Wait, why would Leon be partnered with Eternatus? He got fucking ass kicked by Eternatus. He got like owned. That was Kenny. <laughs> what the fuck? Kamoa is rad. I love you, Kamoa. You're my favorite. You and Swampert are my favorites. I don't think a single person who plays a gacha game cares about what the gacha character does. <laughs> Unless you're like the broken one like Merlin. Like, yeah. On instinct, I literally almost just hit the skip button. <laughs> we have plenty of other events and exciting content planned as well. So come join us in celebration of this special anniversary. Also, if you log into the game after this presentation, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems as our newest campaign begins. You won't want to miss it. Gotcha is for people who don't have addiction problems. And that means I can't play them. Okay, Pokemon Go is fun. My, my roommate has been playing Pokemon Go a lot of, again. And yeah. Hey, the Galar! She'll probably be happy about that. But she probably doesn't know any of the Galar Pokemon. Yeah, my, my roommate plays a lot of Pokemon Go now. And I'm like, good for you. I'm glad you're having fun. Also, that's it then. That's the whole Pokedex. Oh, Hoopa? Hoopa's a good Pokemon. It was very smart of them to add Hoopa. Wow, I am just melting because of the morning. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. Hoopa's a good Pokemon. Hoopa, I love Hoopa. Having an alternate dimension trick is like very, very useful. Alright, how many time? How much time has that wasted? About five or six minutes. That's not too bad. Pokemon Diamond Pearl. Let's fucking do it! Chip Charm, what did just say? It hurts me! Babies! <laughs> I want some of the babies! <laughs> I think I'm gonna do the uh, nostalgia trip version like they did in the last one where they just look up from the in Oraz where the person just looks up from the truck and it was just a, incredible and I cried it was the first time I understood the word nostalgia <laughs> okay they're still going with that they're still going with the with the little SD models that's okay I, I didn't have a problem with it I know some people did Oh, that looks good! I don't know what the fuck people were bad about. Okay, the grass looks a little... The grass looks a little bad, but it looks the same. Also, the Pokemon follows you! The Pokemon follows you! Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, this... Okay, this is what I... This is what we saw in that one still, where we're like, wait a second. Did they change it? No, they didn't change it. It was just in battle. That's what, Yeah, that's what we figured. I forget your name. I'm sorry. Roark. I almost said Roxanne, but that was the last one. That was time that was Ruby Sapphire. Yes! Badgerisu! Oh! It has the balls! It has the thing on the balls with the I forgot what it's called. The stickers! The stickers you can put on the balls and you can customize your outfit. Let's fucking go. Pokemon contests are back. They're on a switch this time, so they're Whoa! Like a real contest thing? A reason to care about this mechanic? I... Fuck yeah, let's go. Let's get it. Both me and my roommate both have uh, birthdays in the November, and I li I joke that we're just going to get each other Pokemon, the new Pokemon remakes. I think that's just what's going to happen. <laughs> because holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, yes! 
mini wild area. Is this the underground? Yes, the secret bases! The underground secret bases! And there's the capture the flag thing. I'm like 80% sure I saw the capture the flag thing. I didn't go shout it out when I saw it. Team Classic Pokemon Pokemon. Ah! <laughs> oh, they're still doing the thing that everyone hates where they put the fights in a void when you're playing inside. Oh, this background's fun. Okay, they're having fun with it, though. They're having fun with it. Okay. Togekiss. Wow, that really does just look like how I remember it being. Like, because it doesn't look great, but it does look how I remember it, you know? Are they doing the primal version thing? Or are they just regular Dialga and Palkia? Because primal Dialga has been a thing. Okay, no, it's just regular. It's not primal. Okay, that's good. Good, 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 good. November 19th. That is two days after my birthday. Hell yeah. This is like low key 100% of the reason why I got so into Pokemon as a child. Is because they came out like right around my birthday every single year. <laughs> let's review the main points of these revitalized games. Let's go, let's do it, let's do it. After 15 years, Pokemon also tiredly shouting the thing on the balls is something I regret a little bit. Just just yeah. And Pokemon Shining Pearl. I get why people don't like it, but I do like it a lot. It's very cute. Oh, that UI! I actually don't. I. That's good. Complete your Pokedex. Along with your partner Pokemon, you'll overcome the gym leaders of each area and aim to become the champion. Why did that Geodude survive a grass type attack? What the fuck? Down through the generations and unravel the truth behind their mysteries. This is Professor Rowan. Who entrusts you with a Pokemon? God. A famous professor researching Pokemon. I wonder how they're gonna do that with every character having the SD sprites. Because that's, I mean, obviously that's what they're trying to like replicate, is the SD sprites of the overworld in the original game, and then you cut into a battle and they're all like the regular sprites. But I don't know. I think that I think the regular sized models look good, but also. I, I kind of get it because they don't animate that well because they kind of just like like waddle around but I don't care <laughs> they're very cute although although SD Dawn does look like she's asserting dominance at like all times <laughs> yeah it's the stickers baby Oh, that's new! What the hell was that? Because there was something in the wall that was not from the original. Oh, seals! That's what they were! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait, what? Oh, that's so cool. I didn't get that into this when the game came out when I was a child because I was a shithead when I was a child and I thought that was lame and for losers, but I'm so excited about the steals again because holy shit, the steals are so cute. <laughs> Good, I'm glad that they're bringing this forward because this is important. Oh, that's so cute! Holy shit! In super contest shows, your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm of the music, proudly show off... That, that purple and blue one looks so good. Cooperate with your partner Pokemon to really work up the crowd. 
the, the, the contest this time definitely see a lot more like cooperative than they used to in the union room this is going to be great for like streamers i say streamers because i'm not big enough for it to matter <laughs> but you know the union room you're definitely going to be able to have a private room Oh, that that Pokemon Underground thing is so interesting, and like there was that when they were hitting the, the doing the thing to get the treasure from the wall, there was something new there. It was like a circle with the little three little like claw strikes in it. If I remember, I'll bring it back at the end of the direct. But like, oh man, there's new stuff. Ah, oh, fuck me. I don't. I can't. I can't do this to myself. I already have a switch. <laughs> That's true. I wanted to get that one, but I already had a DS Lite, and my parents are like, "Are you fucking stupid?" And I'm like, "Yes." Oh, well then. Well then, Kamu. I don't know. You don't have to get one if you don't want to. But like. Man, I love Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, but I, I totally remember that as a kid. I was bothering my parents, like, buy me that. And they're like, are you fucking stupid? And I'm like, yes. Really interesting how they made the, fir the first set of babies just, like, hanging out. And the second set of babies trying to be cool, but they're babies, so it's still really cute. Everyone's going to get mad at this, but I think it looks good. <laughs> a couple of the textures are a little low res and people are going to be- Oh, that looks so good! This is a step up from, from Sword of Shield 4, sure. Stantler! Not Stantler. The other one. No, that is Stantler. Wait, which one is Stantler? Yeah, that is Stantler. Maybe? Is that new Pokemon? No, it's Taylor. I didn't get, I didn't look at the Skybox? Yeah, yeah, the Skybox in the uh, sort of... Yeah, 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 I remember, because that's what everyone's in Breath of the Wild! <laughs> Weasel! Hip out on. Oh, you have the old style of Pokeball here! Oh, interesting, what is this? That's new. This is a new Pokemon. That was Stantler. It was just an old, a different version of Stantler. This is the version of the Pokeball from the... Yeah, the Apricot Ball from the fucking uh, Celebi movie. Yeah, it's probably like a new form. This is the Galar region, right? Like, this is the Galar region, like, well in the past. Who are you? <gasps> it's Braviary! This is fucking Breath of the Wild! Oh, and it's a Barascuta! Okay, that definitely is like a regional Stantler, for sure. That's what this has to be. Oh my god! And, like, the music is just off brand Zelda. Oh, you're right, it is this, you know. I keep thinking that's not Stantler. I'm trying to, like, I think it is. It has to be Stantler. You're right, you're right, you're right. Because that's a uh, Mount Coronet right there. That's the big Mount Coronet. And this is the, uh, the, the fucking the, the, the thing from Zelda, Zelda Breath of the Wild with the camps. And it's going to be reset. There's going to be... It's going to be the thing from Breath of the Wild where you have the... Um, the, 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 the Blood Moon. The Blood Moon, that's what it's called. The Red Moon thing. Strong style idols. The style switching?! Is there just two styles? Oh, this is different. This is so different. Oh 
Oh my gosh. This looks way better. This looks so good. And look, that was the thing I was saying with the with the the the, 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 the birds. The birds from the second Sword of Shield DLC. There was a cutscene where your main character was actually reacting to it. And I'm like, holy shit, so they're learning. Game Freak is learning how to do the character. It's the main character. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. January! That's way sooner than I thought it was. I thought it was supposed to come out in the middle of next year. That was the latest trailer for Pokemon Legend Arceus. Fuck, I have to come up with 120 bucks quick. <laughs> so what are some of the elements introduced in the video? Pokemon Legends Arceus is a brand new title that Fuck. opens new doors for the so, Pokemon I love Pokemon. series using action with RPG elements. Adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui during a long Hisui oh, it's rare for people to live in harmony along This is new. This is new. This is new. This is new. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so this is Sinnoh in the past. You are right. With Mount Coronet. Gibble! Why is Gibble in the ice type zone? That seems bad shit. Okay, okay. Oh, I just saw the Galarian Weezing! That was, that was built into the that was built into the building. It was a Galarian Weezing smokestack. The bustling Jubilite Village. Yeah, right there. Jubilite. Oh my God! Team made up of people from various other regions. This is Jubilite. It better have the theme. <laughs> Wait, no, Jubilite. No, that's a different. I'm thinking of something else. The Galaxy Team. <gasps> I love how, like, we're all this in the past and he's still wearing a fucking lab coat. That's not Pippa, that's Oshawa. What am I stupid? Alright. There's going to be so much simping of this character. <laughs> this character, too. I see, I could foresee people being very, very interested in this character. <laughs> They know what the fuck they're doing. He allows you to join the team and has you work as a member of the Survey Corps. Ray? Is that the name? That's a good name. The duty of the Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure. And in the course of your work, you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Oh, I'm so excited. Locations outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. These camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic materials. Oh my god, we're actually giving a shit about the apricot balls! Where the different balls are gonna matter! This is what everyone wants. This is the video game everyone wants. Once you've completed a survey this game is going to be really good with some really significant problems and the next game in this series is going to be fucking perfect that's my suggestion that's what i think This is the, uh... Depending on its speed scale, is it this kind of how Xenoblade handles it? I haven't played that game in ages, because I don't like it. Oh my god, it's the turn order thing! Oh, fuck. Is there even going to be online battles with this game? Because this is, like, going to break Showdown. 
while the agile style is great for situations this is so cool you're right because this is the turn the turn order thing i like i love this this is really interesting So I love that turn order thing. I think every RPG should use it, except for Pokemon. But like, you know, maybe this one would work. It's literally, this is the only change to the, the turn order system that I, I would appreciate from a Pokemon game. Because that's the thing, online battles are going to be so much different because the thing about Pokemon is always the mind games where you're both choosing your move at the same time. So, if you change that, like, it's, the mind games kind of go away because you have, you're kind of more safe to do things. Weird ear. Called it. Uh, Selby exists. And, uh, you, the, Selby exists. That's how it works. <laughs> Selby? Basque Legion? What? Souls possessing it, letting it swim on and on without tiring. There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This is so cute, though. This is definitely a psychic type, right? Yep, psychic power. Yep. Also, when I said Celebi exists, that's just my ex one second excuse. Wait a minute, this is the Sinnoh region. Dialga exists. <laughs> the little, the, the fucking volcano waterfall. The lava fall. This is so good. This is what I want from Pokemon games. What is this music? I have to talk to my roommate about <laughs> I can't believe it's coming out in fucking January. Like, I really thought it was going to come out in the middle of next year. Yeah, no shit. I still haven't set, sent my Pokemon from Ultra Sun to Pokemon Home. I have to get around to doing that before that support drops. Rank battles will not take place in Diamond and Pearl. I mean, I don't really care. I have showdown, but like, <laughs> that's weird. But there are no like ranked battles in Pokemon which is Arceus, which does make me wonder if there's even going to be online battles. Because a turn order, like a turn order system with the styles, is not going to work for competitive. It's like not what I, anybody who plays competitive wants. Which is fine. Like you know, it, not every Pokemon game has to be for competitive. I'm okay with that. And like, even if they give up on competitive. Like, we will retrofit it to work in Showdown. <laughs> but, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go back to the underground. 30 minutes, that wasn't too bad. That was kind of what I expected. Uh, the underground was shown off around. Oh, too far. Yep, there it is. Oh, yeah. Watch, 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 watch. What is that? What is that? Is that a trap, actually? That might be a trap. Because the underground had the traps? Actually, I think that's what that is. That makes sense. Why would it be in the wall? I don't know, but that does make sense. 
They really just... Yeah, that's probably just a trap. That makes sense. God, it looks so good. On my... On my... On my um, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire secret base, I got a bunch of the music note blocks, and I just had it play. When you walked in, there was like a, like a corridor. You had to walk on the music note blocks. And if you... <laughs> If you walked across them, I literally had a note on, on the front of the base that said, walk, don't run. And it said, and I said, um, if you walked across it, it went, do, 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 do. And I was like, ah, Chrono Trigger. <laughs> and it was just so good. I was just, oh man, I'm so happy that the secret base is back. Now I wonder, because I noticed that the secret piece is like, a, a rectangle and i know that's kind of how they were in diamond pearl i think it's been a while of course are you going to be able to customize it like i want to kind of do the same thing that i did last time i like i really like the secret bases in uh mega ruby alpha sapphire because they were all the different shapes and sizes and all that are you going to be able to customize this one like putting up a tent putting up a bunch of other shit so i could put the music notes in not, maybe not do chrono trigger again maybe probably do chrono trigger again but it might be a different song it might be something else it might be simple gear it's probably gonna be simple gear if it's not Chrono Trigger, <laughs> or something else that I'm just in love with, right? Um, God, and what is this thing? Like, I don't remember. I don't remember the traps in the secret bases in Diamond Pearl at all. It's been so long since I did that. Oh, and this is 100% how we're gonna get Spirit Team, right? God, this is so cool. Like, what the hell is that? Oh, interesting, because you see the grass type, like, okay, you see the, fi this is, like, obviously the fire type zone, and, like, makes sense rock types would be here. This is obviously the grass type zone, but you notice that a, a swine up is here, which is ground ice type, which makes no sense. And then you look at, um, the ice, yeah, this is the ice zone, so there's a bronze, a bronze ore, which makes sense. Why is it the swine up here? And, um, Because uh, this says slight, one of them slight, slightly uh, raises the appearance rate. Right here. Is this supposed to be like a beach zone or a rock zone? Because why are there water types in like the rock zone? So which makes me think is that the hideaways are going to all have consistent like layouts maybe? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe they probably have random, uh, they don't have randomly generated layouts or whatever. They all have consistent layouts. But the Pokemon in them... Yeah, you see a Palafar here in the rock zone. This could just be like a rocky beach or something, but I highly doubt they would do that. They would probably just do a sandy beach because that's what beaches look like in video games. And even in Pokemon, all the beaches are sandy, so that makes sense. Uh, also, what the hell is this background? I was just... Wait. Oh, my, okay, okay, yeah, 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 that makes sense. I was like, I just paused on like this frame or something, and I'm like, what the hell? God, this yeah, and the stickers. I'm so excited for the stickers again. This is good. This is really cool too. Is that like the contests are like they look like they're a lot more um, collaborative than they used to be, which is great. You know, like like. Awesome. And also the fact that I noticed there's that little rhythm game here, which is different. Like maybe there's actually going to be stuff here. Because the thing with the contest before is that like you just get one Pokemon. You just raise one Pokemon that's really good at contests. And it fucking sweeps contests. Like no problem. Yeah, unless you get unlucky and just get owned or whatever. But like you can just figure it out. I never bothered. But I, that was mostly just because I looked into it. I'm like, oh, this doesn't seem that bad. But with like this, there seems to be more to it. I wonder, and I wonder if it's just like one extra mini game out of many, because I know the contests in Diamond Pro were actually more, there's more going on in them. I just don't remember what they were. I know one of them was like, you had to decorate your Pokemon. I wonder if that'll make it back because, well, there's no way they'll make it back because if that made it back, then all these, all these Pokemon right here would have like little ribbons on them or whatever. Um, in the union room. and then, yeah, there's a, this, there's the union room which was in the original that was just how you did 
that, that was rooms like that was just like what you did with the uh wireless cable that got packaged in with a lot of diamond pearl no it got packaged in with leaf green souls leaf green fire red ah! and uh the, the union room i believe it started in leaf green fire red but i can't remember but i i, I know it, it just works in it was in diamond pearl too and yeah that's good the union room is good i wonder if they'll they haven't said whether or not you can set it to be public or private which makes me wonder if there's even going to be public union rooms. But if it's private and like streamers want to hang out, then you can just put the code on the screen and whatever. So that's fine. Oh, I still have to get my Nintendo. I, I don't even have a Nintendo Switch on my Excuse subscription. I haven't like used it in ages. This is such a good room. Oh, I was afraid that they were going to do the void. Because I know with like Pokemon Galactic, when they showed off Pokemon Galactic, they did the void. That everyone just hated from certain shields when you had to fight indoors. Um, but the Pokemon Galactic Void is space. So that's okay. And here they're actually doing an indoor room. So I think I think that criticism has been levied and it makes sense. Pokemon trades with many other trainers. You can walk around with any of the Pokemon that appear in these. Yes! I didn't comment on this, but yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, th this too, like this here, just like I can see somebody looking at this and going, "This doesn't look as good as I would hope. I would have hoped." And to be honest, like I, I, I think if you had compared this to like Link's Awakening, which is on the same console, it just runs like shit. But <laughs> it's on the same console, like it's hard not to compare it to Link's Awakening because they both are the same like SD kind of thing. But I mean. There isn't really an excuse. But also, I think it looks fine. And also, like, this does, is really, really faithful to how it looks. Like, Link's Awakening has a complete overhaul and, like, everything in Link's Awakening, the original. And, like, things look completely different. Like, nah, that's fine, because the game looks gorgeous. But this does look like I remember. Like, I remember I mentioned, I'm not describing it. There was, like, a grass sprite, that grass model, that I was like, ooh, I don't know about that. The grass, like it, like it looks exactly the same as how the grass looked in like Diamond Pearl. So it's like whatever, you know. Uh, let's skip ahead a little. God, this looks like fuck, man. This like these trees and like tilt shift visual effects. Yeah, the frame rate's better. Like, that's the thing is, like, if the frame rate's good, and there's no reason the frame rate shouldn't be good in this game. Because if it's frame rate's bad in this game, that's bad shit. But Pokemon Overworlds have always had, like, consistent frame rates. It's just been when they get into the battles, it's been kind of shaky. But, yeah, it's whatever. But Link's Awakening is also an, a an action game. Uh, so, frame rate matters. Whereas in Pokemon, you can kind of forgive it. I always forgave Pokemon's frame rate in almost any, like, RPG. So you look at this. Look at this screen right here. The trees... They were mad, people were mad about the trees, and they said, "Okay, fine. Let's put some more contrast on these fucking trees." Actually, um, they're like, "Let's get this tree on the on the left and focus a little bit more." See, like it's still really low res, and I still can see people like getting mad about it, but it looks a lot better. Like the contrast is a lot higher, so it definitely looks a little bit more painterly. Like you look at this, and this is also low res, right? Like it's really low res. I mean, like the grass texture looks like dog shit, but whatever. But then you look at the whole thing as a whole. You look at the whole, like the thing as a whole, and it's like the mountain, like this. And I understand that when you're on the ground, you're going to be looking at the ground and all that. And like this doesn't look great. Like I'm totally, but like this looks great. This is looks blurry, but like this as a whole looks really really nice. And like of course like the distance like the distance has been fucking nailed they got that like so well like look at that look at this water this water looks so good the cliff face looks so good obviously the beach doesn't need to be this is a little low res i think if, i think if they like smooth this out a little bit it would probably be good like if you had a better shader and you didn't or you like you had a normal map that was a little smoother i think people wouldn't complain as much but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they... They definitely tried that. And it probably didn't look as good as I'm saying it does. But, like, dis, like off in the distance... Like, the skybox looks fucking gorgeous. But anything off in the distance looks so good now. 
this is just gorgeous. Like the colors and the turtwig and the, oh my gosh. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm very, very happy. This game looks, and like this shot, cause like, remember we both said, ooh, this one looks gorgeous. I think it was this one. Like, yeah, yeah. We both said like, ooh, this one looks gorgeous. And now that I'm pausing it, like, yeah, this grass texture needs prob has problems. This fucking snow on tree texture has problems. But, like, the waterfall looks bad when you pause it, but when it's in motion, it looks really good. Um, but, yeah, like, this just... Hey, hey, hi, hey, Salki. The, the thing's over. I'm just going over about what I love about this. And, like, look at the, the rapid ash, like, the, 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 the fire on its tail, like, the, the shader on it. Just looks so nice. Let's go back, go back, go back. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Like, you look at the, hang on. You know what, we'll just skip back five seconds. That's fine. You look at the shader on that fire and it looks just so good. That looks good, this looks like, cause like, I see like, this looks good and then I pause it. I'm like, okay, I can see the crook of the tree. I can see where people are gonna admit, but like, it looks great. This of course is just Breath of the Wild in there. I remember what I was saying earlier, yeah. It just looks like Breath of the Wild. One thing though is that like, I I am worried about competitive. I don't think there will be a competitive scene for Pokemon Legends RTS, and I'm okay with that. Like not every game has to be what a competitive game. And I'm sure that that'll, I'm sure that the strong style and the agile style are going to be gimmicks that they get rid of after one generation. Also, they haven't talked about Dynamaxing, which makes me think Dynamaxing is not gonna be in the game, which makes me sad because I think Dynamaxing owns. But if they say there's not going to be ranked battles, then it's whatever. The competitive standard will just be Sword and Shield, and that's fine. I'm okay with that. Also, something they didn't talk about in the trailer is the Sinnoh decks. I assume that the the, the remakes are just going to use a, like an expanded Sinnoh decks. And then just not have everything. And everyone's going to just be kind of cool with that because they're remakes of a game that has... Uh, limited decks already. I might say everyone's going to be cool with that. I mean, people are going to be mad, but like not that mad. Uh, Pokemon's Legend Arceus is obviously not going to have a full deck because wow, that would be a lot of dev time. <laughs> just getting all of the animations you need, like holy shit. There's a new Frame Plus video that's really, really good about just like how much work it takes to just get all the Pokemon animations. This is the most Breath of the Wild shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Um... So they said, shut the fuck up and stop calling Pokemon, saying we want a Breath of the Wild Pokemon. We're giving it to you. Also, I noticed, <gasps> excuse me, this bridge right here. Like, okay, this is a really weird thing to point out, but I'm like 80% sure that this is just an asset reuse of a bridge in Sword and Shield. Which, but like, it, the texture has just been changed to make it look older. Which is fine. Like, that's good. Good, 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 good. But like you see the chasing the Chimchar, by the way, I saw the Chimchar and the uh, Turtwig, which means that there's probably going to be a starter Pokemon just wa wandering around. That's awesome. That's sick. Um, is that a Chim Is that a uh, the, the Chingling? I think so. Yeah, that's a Chingling. I can kind of see it. Buneary, Buizel. I wonder if this game is going to have all the Sinnoh Pokemon, because this is obviously the pre-Sinnoh region. Because we've seen Pokemon that are new, like the Growlithe. There's a Sinnoh Pokemon. Actually, wait, which Pokemon here have we seen that aren't Sinnoh? Other than the new ones. Is this uh, a Booyah Flash Sinnoh? I think so. Growlithe is Sinnoh. I remember having... No, wait, is Growlithe not Sinnoh? Because I know people were complaining about there being like almost no fire types in Diamond Pearl. Because like Ponyta was like one of the only ones. I don't remember. God, that looks so good. This is just like, oh my gosh. They have like distances. They have like this that's just like completely fucking nailed. It looks so good. And then yeah, you have the the, the Breath of the Wild, but as we a Pokemon. And like the knockoff Zelda music that's playing in the background. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh that waterfall. Oh that waterfall looks so good. Look at that. Look at this, this looks so good. And the Barascuta evolution. No, Basculin evolution, not Barascuta. I got it wrong. 
gosh. I feel like I've seen this version of... of uh, I'm thinking of Sawsbuck. That's why I was so confused. I was thinking of Sawsbuck. Um, because I was like, wait a minute, is that Stanler or a different deer Pokemon that I forgot? And I'm like, oh, what is the other deer Pokemon I forgot? And it's Sawsbuck. But that's not Sawsbuck. It's not, it's, it's not even what I'm to say. So that's not. Um... I think all these Pokemon we've seen so far are, other than the new ones, are Sinnoh region Pokemon. Because I know Ursaring is Sinnoh region. I know Gyarados and Luxray obviously are. Redon is, Crobat is, because the bat, I remember the caves. Uh, yeah, Crobat's definitely a Sinnoh type. Sinnoh type? You know what I mean. Um... <clears throat> oh, that's a Great Ball! Fuck! I was hoping they weren't. I was hoping that, like, the other Pokeballs that you get that you could craft would matter. Oh, there's a good group shot, actually. Okay, Gyarados. Alright, so something that people are going to bitch about is that Gyarados should be here. In the water. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So these are all Sinnoh Pokemon. Also, I noticed that uh, Lucario just kicked the tree there instead of... Uh, instead of the trainer shaking the tree which is what was happening in the sword and shield is that the trainer would just walk up and shake the tree but inside of that time the Lucario just kicked it which makes me think that the pokemon you have are going to be used for um interactions with the environment a lot more oh that was a garchomp <laughs> you can just see the fire go back inside the physical what move did the garchomp just use Is, is he even gonna show is he even gonna show the opening of that again? So the guard shot did a ranged attack. So that's something you gotta be careful of. Maybe that was Swingthrower? I don't know. Okay, okay, that was uh Probo Pass, Carnivine, hold up. There was Bonsley, which is definitely a Santa Pokemon. Wormple, I'm not sure, but I assume so. So it's Probo Pass, Carnivine, who are you? Pachirisu. And Chaitot, and Magneton, and uh, Apom, which will fall to Dan Apom, it's a new Pokemon. Eevee, of course. Mr. Mime. Wait, is Mr. Mime Sinnoh? I don't remember. I saw Machoke, which I think is Sinnoh. Yes. No, I don't remember. Because I know No Guard might have been a thing. I don't remember, actually. It might not be. Um, yeah, those are both Sinnoh. These are all Sinnoh Pokemon they're showing us. So I wonder if that this is also going to use the same assets that... That's how they're doing it! That's how they're doing it! If they're all Sinnoh Pokemon, then, like, they only have to make animations for the whole Sinnoh decks. But then they could just reuse all of it in between uh, the new one and uh, the, the, the remakes and this one. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And then this is the, the animated thing. That looks gorgeous, but unfortunately it's not gameplay footage. <laughs> I remember I was watching the Fox Cave video on Sword and Shield, and it's like, why is Sword and Shield like this? And it's like, yeah, it's basically everything I already knew. Uh, I kind of wish that he went into the fact that Game Freak doesn't have any money a little bit more, because I want people to know that, that Game Freak doesn't get the money from Pokemon that much. Nintendo and the Pokemon Company do, which then give Game Freak a period portion of money. So it's like, stop blaming Game Freak. It's not their fault. It's Nintendo's fault. But like, one thing Fox Cave said that stuck with me, and by it stuck with me, it's like something I've been saying, but just easy or to say is that Pokemon feels like a franchise that's going through puberty in while it's already in its late 20s working in a law firm and I'm like sitting there as a trans woman going hmm that's fundamentally relatable <laughs> but you know <laughs> I do kind of feel that because Pokemon Legends Arceus doesn't look as gorgeous as it could have I think there's definitely a few more passes it could have been. If this game had like six more months in the oven, I think it would have came out like perfect. But that next Pokemon game. And that's what I was saying. When Sword and Shield came out and everyone was bitching about it and I was having a fun time. One thing I, I, I was saying was like, okay, this game is going to be good. Like if this game is good. The next game is also going to be, have problems, but I think it's going to be a lot better, which is what we're seeing. And the game after that is going to be the one everyone likes. So I think Pokemon Legends Arceus is going to be a good game that I like a lot because I love Pokemon and I love every main Pokemon game and I love a lot of the spinoffs and this is like kind of a spinoff, kind of a mainline. Well, that's whatever, right? 
But like, I really think that the next one is gonna the one that's gonna everyone's gonna get blown away by, and I'm so excited for that. And that's what I've been saying like this whole time, like not this one but the next one. So if the next one's the black and white remake and it actually is like this crazy, and then they have like the next one will probably just be they hopefully they take a year off in between games or whatever. And the next time they release the black and white remake and also Pokemon Legends Kyurem or whatever the fuck. Whoever is the main legendary. Pokemon Legends Victini! <gasps> oh, that would be so good! And then that would be in the past of the Innova region! And that would be great! And it would be the Breath of the Wild one that everyone likes! And then that's when I can tell people the game is fucking what you want now! Okay, I think I got what I want out of this direct. This is everything I want. This is everything I expected to see, kind of. I think um, it's interesting because if you had asked me what was going to be in the new game, I think everything in there, nothing took me by surprise except for the style switching system. Um, I didn't know. Well, that's not necessarily true. Nothing in there was something I didn't it was, was something that if he told me was going to be in the game before the trail like if there was a leak a leak that had everything in pokemon legends rcs in it i would be like the style stitching system seems bullshit but the rest of it seems like it's um yeah it makes sense and yeah just looks good this looks like a good video game that i'm excited to play because i love pokemon so I think I am going to switch on over to part two of this stream. Um, let me, whoops, whoops, go away. Da, 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 da. I am going to, oh. <laughs> put on the Pokemon relaxing music compilation. Turn the volume down a little bit. And I am going to start the second part of the stream. I don't know if I'm actually going to do any battles on Showdown. I'll probably do one or two just to get a feel for it. But I am going to go on Showdown. And... Oops, I didn't mean to open it too tab. I am going to build a Gen 4 team. And what I mean by this is that I'm not going to build a team for um, Gen 4 competitive. I'm just going to build a team that is a competitive Gen 8 OU team, but only use Sinnoh decks. So... I'm only going to use Sinnoh decks Pokemon. So I don't know what the hell this is going to look like. I haven't thought about this at all. I was just going to wait until it was on screen. Fuck off. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go piss off. Stop it with the ads. Okay. So. I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, let's make a new team. Uh, select a format. Start a shield OU. Add Pokemon. So this is going to have... That was the thing, though. I was kind of expecting them to have something like Dynamaxing in the new in the remix, which since they haven't talked about it, they're probably not going to have it all. Also, this all the music's definitely not too loud. I turned it way down. It's loud for me. <laughs> but if uh, I was going, kind of expecting there to be something about Dynamax, and I was like, uh, that was going to be my excuse for doing an OU team and saying, like, oh, if they have Dynamax in the new games, then well, I'm just going to use. Them. But they didn't, so fuck me. But I'm just gonna type in Mesprit as my uh, my lead, just because Mesprit. I remember Mesprit being a decent lead, but also just because I want to put Garchomp on my team. Garchomp is a hundred. If I'm making a sort, if I'm making a Diamond Pearl team, and I don't put Garchomp on my team, even if Garchomp's not overpowered anymore, like holy shit, that is just a, no, unrealistic. Also, I know there's new clauses, but I don't remember what the new clauses are. Just to be safe, I'm not gonna put uh, Togekiss on my team, even if I want to. I remember none of the starters except for Infernape being like great. Um, although 
I'm gonna turn the music up and then I'm gonna go over here and turn it down. Oh, I should really change the stream title and everything. Um, one showdown, Gen 4 team building. Whoops. Okay, we're good. We're good. I should sit up straight. Posture check, everyone. Posture check. Um, and then category Pokemon Showdown Gen 4 oh, for Team Building is the title. Done. Cool. <laughs> Hang on one second. Okay, we're back. Okay, so I don't know what the hell we're gonna do yet, so let's see. I don't really know who's gonna be on the team. Maybe Crobat, because Crobat, I, I used to write a Crobat lead on my Mono Poison team when, back in Gen 5, but it wasn't good by any means. Uh, this might not be wind up being a good team. I might just make the team and then just call it for the night, because I am very sleepy. <laughs> Okay, Beautify is in Gen 4, by the way. So every Pokemon in the trailer we've seen is a Gen 4 Pokemon. That's good to know. Also, man, I got some shit stuck in my teeth. That's amazing. Um, call me Vesquin. Maybe Vesquin? Pachirisu. I'm not gonna repeat Pachirisu. I know that the one, the thing, the, the VGC winning team had Pachirisu in it, but like, that one's a double battle and I don't want to do a bubble. Gastrodon is actually really good because it has the uh, Storm Drain. That's really, really useful. Um, I'm just opening tabs for every uh, Pokemon that I'm considering. Of course, Gengar is just... Well, Gengar got hard nerfed because it doesn't have Levitate anymore, which is really unfortunate. Um, yeah, Curse Body is no, not nearly as good on Gengar because it's not like a tank at all. Um... Wishcash. Oh, good! Wishcash is in the Sinnoh decks. I love Wishcash. Wishcash is so good, like, especially from Pokemon, like, Mystery Ninja. Oh, good, 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 good. I love Wishcash so much. Why does Pokemon show down at the tag open world? I just noticed that. And Twitch. Ah, you guys are losers. I love you. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, Bronze Song might be useful. Probably not. But we'll just open a tag. Bronze on. Oh, Mr. Mime is in the Sinnoh decks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure. I don't remember Mr. Mime. Oh, wait, no, because Mime Jr. is now it was revealed in Gen 4. That's correct. I remember now. That makes sense. Yeah, and all the new baby Pokemon. Chaydot. Chaydot's actually, because of Boom Burst, Chaydot might be worth it. Because Chaydot gets Boom Burst, which is 140 damage move, and it has Stab, which makes it do 210 damage, which is fucked up, baby. Big Pex makes flying type most more damage. Oh my god, all the ads. I don't want to put ad, I don't want to put ad blocker on fucking Bulbapedia because I love Bulbapedia and I want to like support it. If there was like a fucking Patreon, actually, is there a Patreon? There is not a Patreon. Um, no. Unfortunate. If there was a Patreon, I would turn Adblock on in like a heartbeat. I wouldn't even feel that. But that's... <laughs> Big Pex is prevents other Pokemon from lowering the defense set? That sucks. This sucks. This is a terrible ability. What the hell? Why would anyone use this in Fetish? But uh, Keen Eye prevents accuracy from going down. And Tangled Feet means that when you lose a stat... Oh, raises evasion if Pokemon's confused? I thought this was the one that when you lose a sight, you get speed, but I guess not. Uh, Halved! Holy shit! That's crazy! That might almost be worth, like, confusing myself. Or whatever. It prevents loss of accuracy. Yeah, none of these abilities are good in competitive, because... Tangled Feet, probably, 
for I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably legal, but whatever. Is Tangled Feet legal? Kind of. Is Tangled Feet banned? Probably not. Is Tangled Feet. Uh, 2017 is more recent, I guess. That's not it. Only erases me to look confused. That only broke garbage Pokemon could have it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I'm good. It's not, it's not, nobody uses moves that decrease accuracy in smart in smart game mode because those moves suck to fight and nobody wants to, so they just ban them because good. So I'm just gonna put Tangled Feet. I'm gonna use the chain up. Fuck it, you can't stop me. Nobody can stop me. Nobody who has good sense can stop me. Here's Sword and Shield OU. I'm still putting chain up. Hold up, hold up. We're gonna go back. Change it from Gen 8 OU to... Is there... National Dex, that's what I want. Wait, is that what I want? Is this OU? Let's find out. Is is Dialga legal? No, this is this is National Dex OU then. Okay. Good, 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 good. We're using Chain on. Actually, let me just double check. Smogin National Dex. Unique f that tries to make gallery formats work with everything, probably. Every Pokemon, including those that have been cut from Pokedex. Cut moves, Z moves, Mega Pokemon, Primal Pokemon, and more are all legal. That is worth considering. Because are any Sino which Sino Dex Pokemon can have Mega Evolutions? And Z moves. Z moves are also really, really worth. Because that could just make Chaydot just be fucking busted. Do I want to have Tank Buster Chaydot? Is the question. Because look, 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 look at this stupid Chaydot. Chaydot moves Boom Burst 140, but with Stab that does 210 damage. It's so crazy. Shatter, I know, is the other move that you use. I used 100% chance to confuse the target. Look at that. Look at that. Chatter is so good. Chaydot is going to be a nuisance. I know that for sure. What does Chaydot's shiny look like again? Oh, that is cute. I'm just going to leave it as normal. Though. Um, let's see. Mesprit is going to... I don't even know what item Sepulet's going to have yet. I used to run Chaydot on a model flying team, and it was fun. Chaydot's fun as hell. I love Chaydot. Because I remember I put Chaydot and um, Noivern on the same team. Also, does Boomburst hit everyone or just the people in front of you? Uh, it hits everyone. Okay, so a double battle hits everyone. I remember Perrin. I think I put Driftblim on the team or something like that. So that Boomburst... I could just spam Boomburst. Because Boomburst is so fucking strong. It's so, like, crazy that they just gave a Pokemon a move that does 140 damage for free with no additional effect. Like, it's basically a Hyper Beam. And Chaydot gets it with Stab. Like, fuck. <laughs> um, what other Pokemon are there? I'm not using Crobat. Uh, Spiritomb. We might use Spiritomb for fun, but now it's weak to follow the Fairy type, so... Can't say. I can't say I'm married to that idea. Snorlax has a Gigantamax, but truly I do not care. Lucario is a mega evolution! <gasps> mega Lucario. Of course. What else are we gonna do? Azumarill might be fun. I'm gonna kill the Vespaquin page. Also, holy shit, I might have to turn Adblock on. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm turning Adblock on. Look how much faster it loads with Adblock. Just reload the page and it'll reload in like a second. I love Bulbapedia. Like Bulbapedia is such a good, it's such a useful website for like, especially for just having all the information. I like it a little bit more to Cerebi. I just think it's neater than Cerebi. But boy, are the ads a problem. <laughs> I'll turn it, I'll turn the ad block off. 
what stream time I just eat it on there. My Lodic is now is Sinodex. Okay, I'm gonna use my Lodic because I love my Lodic. I think my Lodic is pretty beautiful and she is my baby and I love her. Um Weavile is of course really good. And then yes, there's all these Rotom! Wait, why is Rotom in the Platinum expansion? Why is it Rotom in the regular Snow decks? What the hell? What? Wait, what wait, what is this? These Pokemon were in Diamond Pearl! What the fuck is this? Like, like, I know Gliscor was in Diamond Pearl, wasn't it? Am I crazy? Am I wrong? Also, we might work with Carcass Poison Heal as well. Douchey. Introduce the Gen 4, yeah. Yeah, you, you were in Damn Pro. Yeah. Huh. Why does it say Platinum? Also, we're 1,000% 1, 1, running Rotom, because Rotom is fucking good. <laughs> um, oh, I have a... Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Okay, sorry. My doctor texted me. I had to look, look at it. If we were running a Gen 3... Uh, team, I would 1,000% put Gardevoir on a team because I love Gardevoir. She is my wife. But we are using Mega Lucario, so I don't know. We are probably going to put Leafeon or Glaceon if we could swing a Leafeon or Glaceon. Probably Leafeon. Glaceon's not that good. Uh, maybe. We might put it on. You know what? I was going to say a Synodex team, but maybe we'll just do Gen 4 only for one. Because Rotom is in there, Leafeon, Lucario. We still have to put Lucario on the team. We're a thousand percent using Lucario. There's like no change in my mind. Unless there's another Pokemon with a big, a big evolution that I would rather put on, but I doubt it. Toki? Wait, does Toki get a Mega? I don't think so. Toki gets a Mega. Wait, Toki gets a Mega? No, Toki gets to get a Mega. Okay, why did I think it did? <laughs> okay. Um, we could just do Gen 4 on, like, we could just do Sin of News Pokemon only. Let's do that. Fuck it. Togekiss is an option. We'll kill, um, Milotic as an option. Azumarill, Gengar. Dustnar. I don't like Dustnar. I like, I see, I really like Porygon 2. Porygon 2 is one of my favorite Pokemon to run in singles, but, like, if we're doing it, do do a Pokemon. Scizor is Gen 2. Scizor is my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> okay, the only thing that'll cha change my mind is Scizor. It's literally the I might just put on Scizor out of loyalty. Frost Eyes is like one of my favorite Pokemon in the whole game. I love Frost Eyes so much, but she's not that good. She's not that good, and that makes me sad. <laughs> 26 Pokemon are absent in the Sinnoh book. Oh, uh, right, because in Diamond Pearl, when you beat the game, they were just included at the end of the National decks. They weren't in the Sinnoh decks. That makes sense. I remember that. I do remember that now. Okay, let's see. We are probably putting a Rotom form on the team. I don't know which. We'll just put a Rotom placeholder. Um. Now what? What is the last one? I kind of want to put Leafy on. What What is our team trending towards right now? I what is? I forget because Meshbird. I remember. As of wait no wait 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 as of. Because Azelf lead, if I remember correctly, gets explosion! Yes, 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 yes. Uh, ability levitate, sure. Um, I th did you put up the screens and just explode? Is that what Azelf does? I don't remember. It's been 
Because I think you guys have also put down spikes or maybe stealth rock. Stealth rock, that's what it was. It was stealth rock and then some other setup moves and then explosion. Um, I guess Encore could be good for trapping leads. If you have, like, if someone uses, like, Dragon Dance or something, I could just trap them. Um, and then finally, we could put. Choice Scarf Trick. I could just. See, the thing with Choice Scarf Trick is that. Well, you know, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Because I just remembered, like, it's Choice Scarf Explosion. If there's, like, a problem, I just need to kill immediately. Explosion. But if I see, like, oh, their team has a ghost type and they're going to switch to their ghost type, I'll put the Choice Scarf on the ghost type. And then, like, oh, this they'll use uh, Dragon Dance and they'll be stuck using Dragon Dance, you know? So let's do that. We're doing that. Choice Scarf Trick. There we go. Uh. Bang, bang, bang. And then it would be... It would not be Adamant. Well, if we have a Choice Scarf, then I guess it wouldn't really matter how fast we are. So I, Adamant's fine. So we want Explosion to deal a lot of damage. Um, I still even have decided we might... So it's like, okay, who, who, what, what does our team look like right now? Fragile DP, DPS. Not that fragile. Actually, not that fragile. I remember it being way more. But still, like, it's not a tank. It's not like uh, it's not like it's gonna absorb hits, right? Really fragile DPS that's gonna struggle. But I love Jadot, so you can't change my mind about this. Mega Lucario, uh, Rotom. I haven't decided which one yet. So this one could be a tank. This one could be Rotom Wash to be a tank. And then we need one more Pokemon in the team. So we have one tank. We have one. Just DPS, I guess. Um, we have one really fragile DPS. We have another DPS. So I guess we need maybe another tank to just kind of round it off. I'm thinking Gastronaut right now. Gastronaut or Togekiss. Because, but though I don't remember if, 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 if Spogon has Power Fuse Band. Because they might have Power Fuse Band now because of Clef King. And if they have Power Fuse Band, then fuck Togekiss. <laughs> by using the ring. Uh, Smogon, Para Fuse. That is not what I wanted. I know, come on. People know what I'm talking about when I say Para Fuse. Come on. No, I didn't. <laughs> Uh, Smogan, Togekiss. Let's see. Let's see if. Okay, I'm gonna just go on Togekiss's page, and if uh, it says like, "Oh, now that now that this is banned, it's dog shit." Um, information containing this analysis might be outdated. That's probably fine. Thrive is a wall breaker. Wait, does it even get? Confusion? I don't even remember. What was this again? Um, category. Status. There's Thunder Wave. Oh, yeah. Thunder Wave and Air Slash. That's what it would be, right? But that's interesting that it doesn't... Uh... This is a decent set that I might consider using for a target guess because it is a setup sweeper. Uh, I already. The Garchomp does get Dragon Hands now, I believe. I think. I hope. I remember. I don't know. They, do you get Dragon Hands? No. Okay, well, shit. I remember say, seeing something like a bunch of people were scared that Dragon, Dragon Garchomp is going to get Dragon Dance. And everyone was like, oh, fuck. Oh, no. It's game over. It's game over. But I guess he doesn't. I didn't even open Garchomp's page because I knew from the instant I saw them. Oh, yeah. I'm going to run Garchomp. Of course I am. If I'm, what kind of Gen 4 team would I be making if I wasn't running Garchomp? Like, come on. That would be crazy. 
Uh, dance. Rain dance. Swords dance. Yeah, okay, but no dragon dance. That would have been bullshit. What is this? Oh, it's a special type move. Who cares? I, I guess you could run a special sweeper guard champ, but I'm not going to. Uh, like this, like this, and then we do a uh, jolly. And then like that, and then give it. Oh, right, I also remember, like, it didn't have really good, like, it had Dragon Claw? Oh, wait, no, it's Dragon Rush is the other move that it was, like, using. But the accuracy was low, so that was kind of the, one of the only drawbacks. Earthquake, of course, just fucking god tier. Who, who else would do anything? Um. Oh, Outrage. Yeah, people used Outrage, didn't they? That's not a bad idea. I could just use Outrage. Fuck it. I'm not thinking too hard about this team. It's okay. <laughs> um, then what else could we learn? It's definitely going to have to learn Swords Dance. Uh, do, 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 category, physical. Actually, let's just look at what physical moves it learns. Poison Jab could be good. Scale Shot, Chow, Claw, Stone Edge. I'm really curious what Smoggin has to say about uh, Garchomp. I'm just curious. I'm just I'm just checking. I don't know. Oh, that's Sunny Moon. What? Are, God damn it! It just something loaded and then it just messed up my click. Sword Sand. Is this literally the same set that I was going to get? Scale Shot? Really? Oh, it's two to five times. That makes sense. I'm not going to use Scale Shot. I'm going to use All Rage. Tank. I'm not doing this, but this is rad. <laughs> right? Like, this is so good. Okay, Scale Shot, um, I thought it only hit twice, but it does 25 damage, but it hits a random amount of times between um, two to the five times. So the reason Smogun is re recommending we use Scale Shot is because damaging wise, damaging Dragon-type moves-wise, Garchomp has access to Dragon Claw, which doesn't do a lot of damage. It only does 75 damage, which could be a lot better. Dragon Rush, which does 100 damage, but it has a 75% accuracy, so it's going to miss when you need it most, of course, because it only hits three out of four times. And Outrage, which is the move I'm probably going with. Uh, Outrage is 120 damage, I think. Yeah, 120 damage, but once you use it, you're locked in. You can't use any other move other than Outrage, and you also you can't switch out Garchomp. And the issue with Outrage is that uh, when it's done, it'll leave me confused. So the point of me putting Outrage on our guard shop is like, I want to kill, I just want to just murder whatever is the thing in front of me and just let guard shop be kind of sacrificial. Um, and maybe if I get confused, I'll be okay, but yeah, probably not. And skill shot, it hits two to five times with 25 damage. So this, it, there is a, um, I think it's a one of three chance. No, sorry. It's a one in four chance of hitting twice a one in four chance of hitting three times so that's a one in four chance of doing 50 damage a one in four chance of doing 75 and then i have 50 percent chance of doing 100 or 125 damage which is good but uh, it's good and obviously like the drawback is that it doesn't hit that much but the big issue with it oh there's more oh i didn't read the whole thing there's more but the big the 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 big like reason that you would use a multi hitting move is that it breaks. Uh, if the opponent is holding a focus sash, the focus sash means that you can't get one hit killed. So if you use a multi hitting move like bullet seed or the other ones that I don't remember, <laughs> if you use a multi hitting move, uh, that uh, the one that Sinsuno uses with skill shot that guarantees it hits five times, and rock blast and yeah, there's a couple of them. If they're holding a full focus slash, it will not trigger the focus slash because it does. It's not actually counting as a one-hit kill. So that's why you would want to use a multi-hitting move. That being said, I did not read the entirety of Scale Shot. It has more effects. I thought it was just a dragon type multi-hitting move, but I, there's more. Lowers the user's defense by one stage. Raises the user's speed by one stage after the last.
has a 35 chan percent chance to hit two or three times. Okay, so it wasn't a one in four. It was one in three chance of hitting two times. One in three chance of hitting... Yeah. And then a 15% chance of hitting... So it's probably not going to actually do that much damage as Outrage. This is so fucking good! The only reason I didn't know this is that... Um, Scale Shot is new. Scale Shot is only in Sword and Shield, and it's one of the DLC moves that you can get from the tutors. And I was busy with college when the DLC came out, so I didn't get that too into competitive. But if the last hit breaks target substitute, it'll take damage from any hits. Yeah, that's the other thing, is that uh, that that's the same for all multi hitting moves. Is they use substitute. Substitute, it sacrifices a quarter of your HP, but it puts in a uh, it puts in a little doll, and that doll will take damage up to a quarter of your HP. And that's just useful for other stuff. And that's useful for like, oh, I'm predicting that you need this set up. So I'm going to use a substitute and then do my, my setup from behind the substitute. But you need a good prediction to be able to use substitute. But this is so good. Raises the user speed by one stage. Especially with Garchomp. I still kind of want to run Outrage. I, I know Skillshot might actually be optimal. Um, I kind of want to run Outrage just because I'm pretty sure it's going to do uh, more damage. It's, like, Outrage does the, almost the max amount of damage that Skillshot can do. That um, Skillshot can do. Because it does 120, the max that Skillshot can do is 125. Uh, so I'm going to keep Outrage because I just want whatever's in front of me to just be dead. But Skillshot's good. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, we're going to do Swords Dance here for sure. And this uh, Smog is in Fire Fang. I guess that's just a deal with like ice types. Oh, Ferrothor. Um, yeah, since, uh, since this thing's definitely going to be sacrificial. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What if we want to use... What if we want to use Garchomp as a nuke? We could use Garchomp as a nuke, theoretically, because you could get Outrage. Where's Outrage? Where's Outrage? Where's Outrage? On uh, category. Outrage. There we go. Because... If I remember how to correctly... Uh... Does it say what Z move it turns into? I remember searching Z moves. It's like one of the only things about Sword and Shield, though. The Bulbapedia, that's just like a living nightmare. Um. Let's see. Does it say what Z move it turns into at the bottom of the page? Uh, other games, that's not what I want. Control F, Z, move. Yeah, that's not it. This ain't it. Okay, that's fine. Um, Z, damn it, I forgot what the Z moves are called. So what I'm thinking is maybe, it depends on how the Z moves work, but if we could turn Outrage into a Z move, that just gives me a shitload of damage for free. So that might be worth something. <laughs> Um, Dragonium Z. Because the way the uh, Dynamax moves work is that it depends on the move that you're using. And they just get a different amount of damage. But this might... The Z moves might just be fixed damage. Why does it not show them? Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, no, that's in the TCG. Where does it say the Z moves? Um, yeah, and the status moves all have their own thing. And there's like a spreadsheet that I have somewhere in my bookmarks. Of what the status moves, the moves do. Because all the status have like... Hang on. Let me open a new tab and just get that off the screen. But this... Uh, yeah, okay. Right here, right here, right here. It increases damage. So, Outrage is 109 damage. And unfortunately, we, their scale shot isn't going to work. Isn't going to uh, show here. But... Uh, Hang on, let me see if I have the spreadsheet still in my bookmarks. See, if I can find it quickly, I'll get it up. Uh, shit! It's not in my bookmarks. 
Actually, maybe it's in... Uh... Oh, it might still be in my bookmarks, but it's before I started sorting them. Uh... Huh, okay. Let's uh, Google it then, I guess. So this does 109 damage per hour, so we're, we're definitely going to keep our ratio to this as move. But I do want to see what C um, Sword Sans does. Because that could also be worth it if that just brings my... Uh, C moves spreadsheet. Doesn't Garshoff have a Mega Evolution? It just occurred to me. I forgot. Um, it... This changes everything! This changes everything! This changes everything! Because Mega Garchomp... Actually, Mega Garchomp was slower, wasn't it? Yeah, it only has 92 speed. What? Fuck! It's so much attack! Woo! Sand Forest. Oh, that's a really good ability. Do I want to pivot my whole team to be sandstorm? No, I don't. No, I don't. Sand Forest isn't that good in the Sendos environment. Not in, not in Gen 8. Sand Forest makes me do more damage if I'm in Sandstorm. Which is really, 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 really good in doubles. Yeah, I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep... Uh, Lucario is my mega. Wait, what am I? What, what, what item do I use? Oh. Dragonium Z. Oh, but this has to... This was the big problem with the Z-move system, is that you had to specify which type you were doing. So, like, I can't choose between Sword Sand Z and uh, Outrage Z on the fly. I have to pick one. That was the big problem with the Z-move system that I didn't like. Um... Is this, uh, is this maybe what I want? Is this the spreadsheet? Uh... Oh, wait, no, this is... Oh, this is the, this is the thing. This isn't, this isn't it. Okay. Uh... Fuck it. I'll just, I'm just gonna look up Z stores and you can't stop me. Uh, whoops. Let me do that. Uh, Star Sands. What does it turn into when it's a Z move? All the users low. Oh, uh, that's not that good. Yeah, I, I, a lot of the set boosting moves did that. Where it, basically what I would do is if you did. If, let's say I sent out Garchomp and they sent out an Intimidate Pokemon, I could use these sorts of ads to clear the Intimidate and then get plus two attack. Which is good, but it's really situational. So no, we're not doing that. We will just use a speedy guard champ and just Dragonium Z and we're good. Okay, that's fine. And then we just need one more move. Uh, what? Oops. Category. Can we sort by power? Fuck it. Um, outrage, Thrash. Thrash is the same thing as Outrage, it's a normal type, which is not great. Earthquake and Outrage is already pretty strong and I can deal with most threats. I am leaning towards Fire Fang because Ferrothorn is a big deal and a problem. But 190 damage Z move might also be able to deal with Ferrothorn, so it's okay. Actually, no, that's not true because Ferrothorn's big thing is that it tanks Earthquakes really well, despite being a steel type. So, Earthquake is 100 damage, but Stab is 150, but a Z or Outrage is 190 damage. <laughs> so what else? Like, what else do I have to worry about? I have to worry about Ice types, but, like, Ice types melt. Like, they don't have good defenses almost ever. So I don't really have to worry too much about Ice types, especially since I could just murder them with Earthquake and Outrage, especially Z Outrage, and especially if I have a Sword Sand, Sword Sand's buff. Um... I have to worry about water types because they often have ice type attacks. They are pretty bulky. Z outrage will kill them. Probably. 
Yeah, I'm not feeling... Fairy types. I have to worry about fairy types. Iron Head. Kill him. Get him. Get him, ass. And they recommend leftovers. I'm just going to use the Z-move. Because, yeah, the Z-moves aren't even in Smoggins. Like, whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll throw Gastrodon on as the last one. Just because I need another tank. Um, Garchomp, we're taking out Sandvale. Sandvale, I think, is even banned. And putting on Rough Skin. Uh, Gastrodon. Uh, Storm Drain. Storm Drain is, like, really, really good in doubles. Basically, what it does is it takes makes all Water-type moves hit Gastrodon, negates them, and then raises Special Attack by one stage. So this is really, really good if I had a Pokemon that was weak to Water-type moves on my team, which I don't. Oh, I could just use Rotom Heat and bait Water-types out with the Rotom Heat. So yeah, if I expect a water type move is coming, I could just switch to the Gastrodon and it'll just get a free boof or free buff. Water immunity, yeah. Um, uh, Gastrodon is just really good. I might run. I might run a Salt Vest in Gastrodon. So Salt Vest means. Oh wait, no. But then I can't use Recover. Or Yawn. Yawn is no. Yawn's too good. Yawn's too good. Yawn has a. Guaranteed hit? Holy shit. That's crazy. <laughs> um, Earth Power, of course. Scald, of course. Well, maybe not Scald, of course. But Scald. No, yeah, we'll use Scald. Scald is 30% of that. 30% chance to burn the opponent. That doesn't really stack well with Yon, actually, though. No. So maybe I might run Scald, I guess. Honestly, maybe. Because Assault Vest means you have 30% more special defense, but you can't use any um, status moves. You can't move, use any moves that don't do damage, which is a lot. I kind of wish you could just short my category instead of, like, picking one. Uh, why did I do physical? That's not what I want. I want status. So what status moves can you burn? Recover. Recover is so good on attack bomb, though. Yawn and Recover is, like, really good combo. In which case, I'll take off Skull and Skull. Or I could just do Rest Talk, to be honest. Yeah, Rest Talk is good. Rest and Sleep Talk. So Rest is you heal up to full but go asleep. Sleep Talk is you use a random move when you're asleep. So re Rest Talk. You know what? Re I guarantee Spock is going to say, like, oh, Rest Talk is too good on a Gastronaut. But you know what? Fuck you. I don't care. I'm going to run Rest Talk Gastronaut. You can't stop me. I want to see what Spock says, though, because I'm very, very curious if they have, like, a really good idea. Physically defensive. Yeah, Tox Toxic is also a really good thing for Gastron. Super just melts them, whatever. I'm going to use a Rotom Heat, I think, to bait out. Um, To bait out water type moves. Unless I can think of a better thing that's weak to water type moves in the decks. Oh, yeah, in this, in the original, the Rotom didn't change their typing, but in. The, I think it's Gen 5 onwards. Which is why Rotom Watch is so fucking good. I could use a Gliscor to bait out water thing is actually instead of Rotom. It's Gliscor's own. I love Gliscor. Probopass sucks. I could use Gliscor. I could use Gliscor. I'm, I'm, I'm just... Hmm. Someone's calling me. Is this a spam call or do I have to care? This is a spam call. Okay, I don't have to care. Uh, who else is weak to water type here? I love Gliscor. You know what? Because I do need more tank bonds on my team anyway. Because I only have the Gastronon. So I will use Gliscor to bait out uh, water type moves and then switch to Gastronon. So of course we're just going to do this. And then I guess we'll just throw one in defense. Since we're doing rest talk, we'll do... Um, I think it's... Careful? No, not uh, the, the, the uh, modest. Actually, not modest. The one that lowers speed. What is it? It's impish. I think it lowers. No. Which one lowers speed? It's been a while, man. Minus speed. Minus speed. Quiet. Quiet. That's the one. Because of course, if they have trick room for whatever reason, you want to make sure it's as low speed as possible. At which point, I will actually. 
So what item are we giving? We'll probably give this thing a leftovers, just because leftovers is just really good in general. Um, there we go. That one's done. Gliscor. Gliscor's set is kind of set in stone, in my opinion. I've ran Gliscor before. It's probably got new stuff. But Poison Heal, if it's poisoned, it heals instead of taking damage. Toxic Orb poisons itself at the beginning of the battle. <laughs> Moves. You put on it. Um, honestly, though, maybe it's not set in stone. Does it get fling? Fling throws the held item you currently have at your opponent, and the amount of damage it does varies depending on what you're holding. But if you are holding a toxic orb, it just puts toxic on your opponent. Now, that's really good, especially on a tank bomb like Gilescor that has a lot of healing from Poison Heal and Roost, which I'm about to put on right now, Roost. And Roost um, heals your status, heals, it's just, it's just recovery, it just heals 50% of your health. So you get Poison Heal, you get Roost, becomes nuisance, Fling poisons your opponent, you could just tank them to death from there. But, <laughs> hey, Pyrocast, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. But we're oh she. We're also gonna put acrobatics on, which if you are not currently holding a held item, it does double damage. So what you do, of course, is you put you have the toxic score, poison yourself, fling your toxic score with the opponent. Now acrobatics is a lot of damage for no reason. Cool. Amazing. Excellent. Fantastic. So then we're just gonna also throw on earthquake because earthquake just does a lot of damage. Easy. And of course, easy stats. I'm lazy to think of better ones. Like that. No, not defense, not defense. Shoot, 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 shoot. That's on me, that's on me. I want more damage. I want more damage on my earthquake. So yeah, 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 yeah. So easy. This set, uh, I, I said it was set so before because I remember running a different set with Roost and Earthquake but I didn't remember what else was on the set, and I think this might have honestly been it, but I don't remember. This is a good set. I think there's other stuff you could do with Ghost Car, but like this is a good set I like. Obviously, we're doing Mega Lucario, uh, Chaitot, Boom Burst Chatter. Uh, for anyone who's new, I'm running Chaitot because I love Chaitot and I love Boom Burst. Nobody can stop me. It's a bad idea, but I don't care. I truly do not care. I love Chaitot. Anyway, we're just gonna max out speed. It's the most fragile GPS of all fucking time. Um, I'm gonna raise its speed just because it kind of needs it. Uh, I didn't really think that far ahead because Chad, Chad, I, I've run a, I run a uh, choice specs, and I think that's what, what, what I might wind up doing with Chadot is choice specs. Uh, just because boom burst, I just want boom burst to murder the thing. I want to send out Chadot, and for the opponent to not know why I'm sending out Chadot. And then choice specs. And then choice specs boom burst. That's what I want. That's the only reason Chainot's on my team. <laughs> Glitzcore exists on my team because I love Glitzcore, but also because I want to bait out water type moves so that I can switch in Gastrodon with Storm Drain. Um, and. There is. Yeah, all, uh, as Elf is going to be our suicide lead. We have a choice scarf with trick because that is always mean and fun to do and we also have explosion if if they're sending out a pokemon if they don't have any ghost type pokemon on their team and they send out a pokemon and leave that i just want to die and i don't care boy or something and they guard up because i'm right if i'm running a gen 4 team why the hell not why would i put anything other than guard shop on here of course i'm gonna put guard shop on here guard is wonderful and we love guard shop. we love her she's wonderful I'm also, I'm running Outrage just instead of Skull Shot just because I love, I just want the thing in front of me to die. That's literally the 100% of the thought process. And also we might use the, the Z move of Outrage, so do 190 damage, which is a lot. <laughs> so yeah. I thought about putting the Z move on Dot to make Boom Burst do even more damage, but it already has 210 base damage after the step. And if I put a Choice Specs on it, which I might do, I have to double check the rest of its boot set. Uh, what status text do you have? Deep Fog is worth it! But if I'm using a Stealth Rock... Mm, 
Azelf has stealth rocks. I could take stealth. Uh, mm, I'm gonna put. Mm, no, no, no. We're taking stealth rock off Azelf. Oh shoot! I was gonna say Azelf. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like stealth rock. I just think it's annoying. And stealth rocks is a problem. Well, actually, that controls you. I don't remember. Yeah, there we go. Let's not do that. Because now that I'm thinking about it, uh, on this team, Chainot's immune to spikes, toxic spikes. Gastrodon's. Oh, and I could just send me Lucario to get rid of toxic spikes if I really need to. Garchomp takes reduced damage from self rock. Lucario takes reduced damage from self rock. Blizzcore takes normal damage. Gastrodon takes normal damage. Chainot's the only thing that's weak to self rocks. So Defog, if I need to get rid of it, like, I'm, I'm already sending in Jadot, so it's not that big a deal. So I don't really need to kill Stealth Rocks that much. So that's actually... Also, I can learn Heat Wave? What the fuck? Um, Boom Burst, Chatter, Heat Wave... Put a heat wave on just for the surprise factor. Um, synchronize sucks ass. I think it's probably like really useful as a surprise, but like man, if, especially if I put a choice scarf. Let's try specs. Synchronize it only hits if the opponent Pokemon has the same type as me. So if I'm fighting another flying type, I could use synchronize on Ch Ch Dot and it would just die <laughs> this does a lot of damage but i have to only be fight it only works against normal or flying types and that sucks for choice specs because if they just said a, a not normal or flying type yeah. let me just double check and make sure there aren't any good uh status moves nasty plot could work instead but it requires setup and that is worrying for a channel um Tailwind could be good because it doubles speed. And then if Chaydot dies, and by if I mean when Chaydot dies, it still retains the doubled speed for the next Pokemon to come out. So, like, Garchomp can massively benefit from that. Lucario can massively benefit from that. But if I do Tailwind, I have to give up on my ideal of using a. But I could just use a Life Orb. Honestly, I could just use a Life Orb. This thing's fragile as shit anyway. So I think, I think we'll just use a Life Orb. Life Orb does 30% more damage, but uh, it does 30% more damage, but you lose 10% of your HP every time you use an attacking move. Uh, what other moves are there? There are Sing, Swagger, Torment. I think we're going to use Tailwind. Because raising my own speed matters a lot, because my damage is already augmented with fucking boom burst and at which point i don't actually have to use this i, I can just use uh like that so 311 base special attack which is nothing to sneeze at. it's not like a it's not like a lot a lot but it's nothing to sneeze at like garchomp is 359 base attack but not with the not with the uh, complementary nature but couple that with boom burst couple that with the life orb damage all we need is a single tailwind and we should be fine that being said, I'd have to be really, really careful about when I use Tailwind. But I think it should be fine. Uh, then Lucario is the only one we got left. So what status moves do you get? You get Bulk Up, you get Calm Minds. So Lucario is interesting because Lucario's um, special attack and attack stats are like almost the same. So you could run a physical Super Lucario, which I think I used to do all the time because close combat. But you could also run a special Super Lucario and that would work just fine. So filter status, nasty plot, because nasty plot raises... Yeah, that's probably going to be especially useful for um, Chaitot. But you really don't have that many good boosting moves. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I, before I do that, before I... Re do that let me just double check what kill you kill you not using you not using you not using you sorry i was just closing some tabs um lucario 
The stats on the Mega Evolution are almost the same. Okay, so attack and special attack are both really high. Theoretically, I could just do both. I could just do a mix sweeper, honestly. I could just do a mix sweeper. Yeah, and if I couple if I couple a mix sweeper Lucario with uh, Tailwind, like I don't get any boosts, but I can just come in and murder the thing that's in front of me, like turn one. I think we're gonna do that. So let's see, Orosphere, Orosphere. Oh, it only does eighty damage. I thought I used to do more. I thought I used to do ninety five. What the hell? Orosphere is a move that always hits. Like no matter what the opponent's evasion is, no matter what, it always hits. Oh, it used to be 90 damage. Okay, I'm not crazy. That sucks. Orsher is a really good complement to Focus Blast, which is another fighting type move that does 120 damage, but it has a really low accuracy. This motherfucker, this should still do 90 damage though, because that, that would be so good. Um, I could just do a Fiscal Sweeper though, because Cross Chop and all these, or, or, not, or Extreme Speed. Yeah, Extreme Speed is something you always run on Lucario, or I always run on Lucario. Just because it's fun. Um, steel types are going to be obviously very useful in this gen because fairy types. Lucario owns. Hell yeah. No, for sure. I'm very curious. Ah, not what I wanted. No, Lucario is such a good, such a good Pokemon. We all love Lucario. Huh. Sword Stance plus Fab Action. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I kind of want to go the mix sweeper route though. Yeah, Lucario's a good boy. See, that's the thing. I wanted to go the mix sweeper route, but I also thought our sphere was going to do more damage. I know 10 damage isn't a lot, but like 80 damage really isn't worth it. Like already 90 damage could be better, but... Did you say close combat? You said close combat. I always ran extreme speed. I always ran a close combat. That would probably be closer to what I'm used to. And then with the Tailwind boost from Shadon, if I get that, then that's just, yeah. A single Sword Stance, a single Tailwind, like fuck, you're you're getting owned. So fine, fine, fine. We'll just use the Smog and set like some kind of loser. Also, I didn't know I got Meteor Mash. That's fucking awesome. Uh, what other moves you get? You get Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch I used to run too, but with Extreme Speed, you probably didn't need to worry about it that much. Actually, when I say I always ran straight speed, I might have been picking up Bullet Punch. But whatever. Um, close combat, Meteor Mash, and then Sword Stance. More Power Up Punch instead of Sword Stance. I know it only goes up by one stage, but like it does damage. And that could break Focus Sashes, actually. I mean, it already has 145 base attack, so like, fuck, I don't really need two stages. Base power punch. Hell yeah. Now, now that I've picked power punch, I wonder if that frees up close combat. Because anything that's a fighting that's not a uh, fighting type will just die after two power punches. <laughs> anything that's weak to fighting types already. But then I guess I am losing the uh, 120 damage burst, like 180 after stab burst. If I get rid of close combat. What other moves? Like, what do I have to worry about? Because fairy types get murdered by Meteor Mash. Is there anything that doesn't get destroyed? I guess ghost types. I go. I have a problem with ghost types right now. So I could use Crunch to kill ghost types, I think. Crunch would be a good option. Um, payback. Eh, payback is not great. Honestly, yeah, Ghost Type would probably get sent in to deal with Lucario. Since Lucario doesn't have great options against Ghost Type. And who the fuck is going to run Crunch on Lucario? We're going to run Crunch on Lucario. I mean, the, the point is, like, I think that right now I'm running Crunch not to be optimal. But just because I think that um, Crunch is going to have the surprise factor. So if anyone, if the, anyone sends out a Ghost Type, like, Meteor Mash is not going to be work useful against Ghost Type. But that being said, if they send out a ghost type, I can't use power punch, which is a big drawback of power punch. 
Uh, if you don't know power up punch, it's hundred percent chance to raise use special attack by one or user's attack by one. And but it only does like forty damage. So it, yeah. It's just an attacking boost move. And obviously we're gonna blast we're just gonna murder. We're just gonna put uh we're just gonna put adamant on you. I'm thinking about doing Jolly, but if we have the Talon boost from Chaydot, then we don't really need Jolly. And there we go. So is that it? Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. I think I'm going to uh, try this team out then. Actually, I'm really curious if how many how much of this team is legal. Oh, not at all because of the sea moves and the Mega Evolution and all that. If we're yeah, if we're doing the national decks, we might as well take. Oh, why didn't title my team? Oh shoot, we gotta do that. It's the most important part. Gen four. Shining diamond hype. Fucking go. I'm ready. I'm so ready for the new ones to come out. Like, that's what we were doing before the showdown started, of course. And just watching those, that trailer. And man, I'm so fucking excited. I love Pokemon so much. Giant national decks. There we go. Find a random opponent. Oh, I didn't. Is that my username? Oh, I don't even have my new username set yet. Uh, I ever actually set a password for this one. Oh, I did set a password. Oh, I didn't. Did I register it? Let's test. Okay, it, it is blocked out. So let's just. Hell yeah. It already has Winona because they know. Cool. There we go. And let's see. We're just going to. All right, we have some thinking to do, gang. I no longer have 145 attack. I didn't know like Mugulario Omega was banned. So I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, because I thought about doing Mega Garchomp, but like Mega Garchomp's a little too slow, because Mega Garchomp only has like 80 speed or something. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the Lucario Knight off of Lucario. I should have checked. Oh, I didn't mean to put a choice card on you. I just clicked quickly. I'm going to put a life orb on you. And... I'll, I'll keep the same moveset just for the surprise factor. Uh, immune to intimidate. Ooh. That's really good. I think I'd give it justified, but I don't really have any... Um, I don't have anything on my team that would bait a dark type attack out, because nothing's weak to dark other than an Azelf, and Arzelf's just weak anyway. So that's fine. I don't have anything on my team to bait a dark type attack. So I'll keep inner focus. Chaitot will give the life orb to the current. What are my other options? I would give Chaitot a focus sash. But I'm worried about... We're going to keep Lucario. Do not worry, Py Pyrocast. We are going to keep Lucario. I love Lucario too. Don't you worry. Because what's a Gen 4 team without its fucking mascot? <laughs> I would give Chain out a Focus Sash. But I'm afraid of, like, Stealth Rock, of course. So... Maybe I will just go Specs. I was talking about going Specs before. I think I will. No, but I can't use Tailwind. And Tailwind is kind of required for Lucario. Maybe I will just go Specs and then I'll have to mess with Lucario a little bit. Because Tailwind is really good for both Lucario and Garchomp. Because Garchomp can just get out ahead of something. But. Tailwind. You know what? We're going to keep it because it's so good. It's too good for my team. Like, it's not obvious. It's not going to be always good, but it's too good for my team. So let's keep the Life Orb on Chaydot. Lucario is a little bulky, so let's not waste that bulk with Life Orb. And then... What items do we have? Hmm.
Reasonable is speed by one if it gets affected by intimidate, but if we're here focus means I don't get affected by intimidate, so it's fine. Um Wonder Policy. No, I do want something that can raise my speed though, actually. Because Lucario's speed, it's not like low, but it's definitely not something that's like reliable, I guess. Um uh, what uh, what items do we have? There's a check pack. If you hold your stats or lower, it switches. No, that's not really what I want. Um, grip claw, hardstone, heat rock. The hell song is this? Wait, what song is this? Northerly town. Oh, from Pokemon Rumble? What? Jeez. Um, Miracle Seed, Misty Seed, Muscle Band, Mystic Water. So the reason I'm going to keep Garchomp as regular is because I do want the opponent to think I have Mega Garchomp. Because, like, if they know that Mega Lucario is banned, then they'll know that I have to be Mega Evolving Garchomp, and I just won't be doing that. Um, there's nothing here though. Like, what? It's just a life orb. I could really go for a life orb, but Chainout really needs that life orb. It's the problem. I could go Citrus Berry to be completely honest. Like, it is somewhat bulky, right? So. Get, taking a hit and then eating a citrus berry might mean I can survive a hit twice that I would normally only be able to survive once. That's really situational though. Like I don't like that. Um. Oh! <gasps> no! 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 I forgot about the throat spray. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, 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 watch, 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 watch. We're gonna use the uh, Thrush Spray right here. Thrush Spray. Raises you, hold our special attack by one stage after uses a sound move, such as Chatter, such as Boom Burst. Also, we might have to get rid of Hate Wave. Oh, I didn't mean to like, actually get rid of it. Are there any other sound moves I can use instead that would be useful? No. Okay, we're gonna use Heat Wave. Whatever, it's fine. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I completely forgot about Throat Spray. Throat Spray is so good. Okay, so that's, uh, let's, uh, validate. My team is valid. Hell yeah. So let's go. Let's see if we can get a match. Uh, Meganium Fab Page. Manetric. That is weird. Azalfri. Rabombi Lead. You know what? I don't even want to find out what Rabombi does. Damn. Yeah, that's. Okay. So let's use. Send Chaitot out and use fucking. No! Why did it still win save? Also, that did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, acrobatics. I need to heal. I need that choice. I need that toxic orb boost. Wow, Chainot is not tanky whatsoever. I know Manaphy, this Manaphy definitely has rest when it's slowly playing. Oh, that's not what I thought you would do. Okay. I guess maybe they expected me to switch. <gasps> they brought, they definitely were expecting me to switch to Gastrodon. Ah, oh, you fucked up. S sorry. I'm not sorry. Acrobatics, baby. It's double damage. Now they're going to expect me to switch to Gastrodon. They're not going to expect me to switch to Gastrodon. Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Earth power. 
Now, I wonder if this Manaphy has, like, HP Grass or something. I actually don't know what Manaphy's moveset is off the top of my head. Oh, oh my god. Wow, Gastrodon's a beast! That was two and a half times special attack, and Gastrodon just took it! Oh, you're done. I'm so sorry, friend. Oh, I'm done. I should have rested. Oh, wow. Uh, you're a dark type. But also, I could just send in Glissworm. Wait, yeah, because I switched in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a second, I thought Glissworm was dead. I was stupid. That's stupid. So let us use Acrobatics to try and kill the buck before he can use knockoff. Thank you, Kamu. I got this. I got this. I got this. Also, that Shadot didn't have Tailwind, which is a problem. I don't know why it didn't. Flame Charge raises your speed, so even if uh, it didn't go first this time, it will go first next turn if it survives an Earthquake, which is never going to survive an Earthquake. Um... Yeah, I win this. Oh, Mega Manetric, I see. Yeah, I won this. Oh, look at that! It survived one. Good for you, buddy. Oof. GG, GG, GG. Okay, first things first. Why the hell? It didn't save the tailwind! <laughs> save the tailwind, please! Thank you. See? Tailwind. Didn't matter in that match because I just died immediately, but... I wonder how the player base is for national decks. Like, am I gonna see, start seeing the same people if I were to fight on? As of please. Uh, I don't... You know what? I don't think Explosion is going to kill Bruxix, so let's just do this. Haha, -ha, bitch! So it's going to use towards it. Yeah, yes! We're saving that one. We're saving this one. Hell yeah. <laughs> Goodness me, I love it. You love to see it. What a forfeit. Oh, excellent. I love, I love Choice Scarf Trick. I love Choice Scarf Trick. Oh, that's fine, whatever. I just, I just need the link. As long as I have the link, we're good. Um... Beatrill! This is gonna be Mega Beatrill for sure. I don't know what Mega Beatrill does. What's a trick? I, I I think I should probably explode, but I don't know how much defense Mega Beatrill has. Choice specs. Oh, interesting. I got choice specs, which means oh, I can still choose what move I'm gonna use. I bet this is gonna use Thunderbolt. Magnus is probably gonna use Thunderbolt. Called it. So now it has to switch out. It has to switch out no matter what. This thing is going to be faster to me, and I am worried because it's fairy type. Um, fairy type is immune to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but Garchomp's pretty tanky. Look at that. Oh, but it survived. It's also pretty tanky. Darn, that's crazy. The fact that Temple Koga survived a fucking sword stance, like that's that's nuts. Uh, you have a lot of speed. You are faster than me for sure. Uh, let's use... Let's send out the And we're just going to, um... It's going to be faster. I th let's use Power Punch just because it's going to be faster than me. And I don't think I can kill it! Inner Focus, baby! Okay, it's 1,000% going to use Earthquake, right? Especially now that it thinks I won't switch out because I have that uh, 1.5 times attack. 1,000% going to use Earthquake. 
Come on. There we go. Easy. Easy game. Easy game, easy life. We love to see it. You'll love to see it. Uh, it's going to switch out to Magnazone, I think. Oh, okay. You turn to Magnazone. You turn to Magnazone. You turn to Magnazone. Watch, 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 watch. It might be Corviknight. If it's smart, actually, it might be Corviknight. Corviknight would be the smart choice. <laughs> Fuck me! I didn't I notice the Corviknight there. I really thought Magnazone was coming out. All right, this thing is definitely going to. Oh shit! Okay. Another U-turn, huh? That's interesting. That's not what I was expecting. This match is great! This match is so good! I love matches like this! It's just the back and forth! Oh, of course it's Magnazone. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna kill my ass off. So it's gonna use Flash Cannon. That's a Steel-type move. So, a Steel-type move? Not very effective against Lucario. We're gonna Power Up Punch again. And this time we're not gonna switch out, even if, uh... Landers comes in. Oh, Garchomp! Really? I see... Oof, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> oh my god, I took so much damage from that. Okay, Garchomp is 330 meter speed. Okay, this is definitely gonna outspeed me. So we're just gonna use extreme speed. Let's see if we can go. Damn, we didn't do it. Okay. Oh shit, it's dead, 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 it doesn't know, he didn't know I had extreme speed. He's dead. Ah! I'm surprised. I'm surprised they switched because Garchomp is not that fast. Oh, I should turn this off. Whoops. Uh, we're going to. Oh, I don't have close combat. Oh, I needed close combat for this. Okay, we're gonna die this turn no matter what. So let's just crunch. Fuck it. Sorry, sorry, friends. Uh, this time we will send in Shaytot, and we will use Tailwind. I don't think he'll kill me. I think he's expecting something weird. Okay, Bruce. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna use Chatter to confuse it, and also because the spe the voice the sound attack will raise my special attack. There we go. Shit, man. But we're gonna kill it with Heat Wave, hopefully. Damn it! Damn it! No, it didn't work! It didn't work! But that's okay, because now, now that it's so weak, we can send it close for it and it'll be pretty safe. Also, I'm gonna lose this match. Damn it! If, if Heat Wave did it, I would have been a lot better off. We're definitely going to fling now. You saw the Acrobats. You know what's coming. Why would you use Poison Jab? That's an interesting move. It didn't get poisoned? Oh, because Future is a poison type. Yeah, whatever. I just wanted to get rid of it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I should have fling I should have flinged on Corviknight. I'm stupid. It's fine though. You don't have you don't have levitate. There we go. I have showed you my moveset. Mivu, I've showed you my moveset. You know exactly what you're up against now. What are you gonna send out? I don't think me I don't think this person has anything that could actually kill Gliscor. Like, effectively. Magnazone is going to be slower. Oh, wait, no, I gave Magnazone a choice scarf! <laughs> I got scared. But Gliscor is really, really, really tanky, so we should be okay. We might actually bring this back. I was, like, 100% sure we we're going to lose, but, like, we might actually bring this back. Because what the hell are you going to do against Gliscor? Um, let's roost. Yes, that was a good move. Roost was a good move, because I that's 7% plus the, uh... The Toxic Heal. So now I'll just Acrobatics. There we go. I actually... Acrobatics is the wrong move. I should have used Earthquake, but it didn't really matter. I was kind of... Maybe maybe there would have been a switch. Didn't really matter. 
Garchomp might actually be faster than me, so I am going to Acrobatics. Outrage! Okay. Well, Gastrodon will take care of that. And we're going to... Earth Power. Wow, that did a lot of damage! I thought about doing rest, because if it got confused and I did rest, it would have, like, saved me. It would have just totally healed me to fall. But I think we lost. I think we lost this. I'm gonna rest. Yes! No! I forgot! Oh no! <laughs> I forgot about electric terrain! No! Damn it! I was so close to victory! Oh man! If only I wanted to do less of a gimmick team. Oh well. Another mana thing though, like, that's weird. I'm gonna trick. Okay, Pelipper is worthless this whole game now. Because Pelipper can only use one move. Where'd I get? I, I got a Damp Rock. Okay, well Pelipper, that means Pelipper can't come back out and set up eight more turns. So we're gonna... Stealth Rock. Damn it. Okay. Wow, that was fast. Why are you so f Oh, you have Swift Swim when you make a ball. <gasps> That's right. I forgot about that. Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> I should have switched to Gastrodon. It's fine. Let's just Scald. You definitely have Earthquake. Yeah, let's see if we can burn this pussy. If we can burn this pussy, then we're fine. We're kind of... Decently well off. This Biff Lissy is 100% going to toxic us. Fortunately, the pussy doesn't know I have rest talk. So we just need to burn it. And we should be good. Because the pussy, obviously, if we burn it, it won't be enough. But I just want to burn it. I just want it to be burned. I just want it to be on fire. Because the pussy obviously does not know that I have rest talk. Because look at this. There we go. Now I can just. Now I can do my thing. Watch. Watch the despair on the Splissy's face after this next turn. And look at this. I've just wasted all of the rain turns. Now I'm going to switch to Gliscor. Uh, I'll switch to Chaydot. I'll switch to Chaydot because the Blissey's definitely going to switch out. Because there's nothing to Blissey. Blissey cannot defeat Gastronon. Gastronon cannot. Yep! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. So now there's no more rain. We're just gonna use chatter to confuse it. Yeah, we'll use chatter to confuse it. But now there's only five turns of rain because I stole the damp rock. Now it's confused. It's going to use. It can't use U-turn that effectively because I'm a flying type. So we will use Tailwind next. Yeah, now I'll use U-turn and switch out the Swampert. But it'll. The plan was to switch out the Swampert. But now I use Tailwind, so now I have double speed, so the Swampert's not going to cut it anymore. Manaphy's going to come out. We're going to use Boom Burst, because it's not going to expect the Boom Burst coming out and doing shitloads of damage. Oh, that still doesn't kill it! Oh my god. Well, the good news is that there's no Jellicent on this team. If there's Jellicent on this team, they definitely would have just switched out to Jellicent after this. <laughs> Oh, you fucked up. You didn't know it. You didn't know. Oh, I'm so sorry. Shadon's doing it. I love you, Shadon. I love you. Yes. <laughs> I love you, Shadon. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is what you get. This is why you always put weird Pokemon on your team that people don't know how to deal with. Because if that poke, if that person knew Chaydot had Boom Burst, then we would be playing a very different video game right now. But this person did not know that Chaydot had Boom Burst. <laughs> oh yes! 
And the tailwind obviously made it so that the swift swim wasn't enough. And like, yes, I'm so happy. I'm so happy with the, how that worked out. Like, obviously that's not a strat that's gonna work in all the time, especially cause it's Shadot and you notice how like little damage it was doing for like a fucking boom burst. But, <laughs> oh, I love Shadot. And we're saving this battle. We're saving that one for sure. Let me close all these bulk media tabs. All right, let's do a few more battles. It's, uh, yeah, I don't care. Like, I could share the battle, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, as I'll please. <laughs> Mr. Mongalar, this has some weird bullshit it's gonna set up, so we're gonna trick. I don't think I can run and kill it with explosion, so we're just gonna trick. I got a leftovers. It got a choice card. Now it's stuck in hell. There's a 1,000% chance it's gonna switch out. Uh, you don't have a ghost type. You have a Skitty. Interesting. I'm going Explosion. When you switch out, you're just going to... Whatever you're switching into is just going to die. So that makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> also, why hell? That's so weird. Whale Lord. Yep. All right. You expected the Explosion. Didn't think Whale Lord would die, baby! <laughs> so hell is going to make it so the Blizzard... There's, the, the, there's going to be a Blizzard. So let's keep Chaydot and Garchomp out of the front line. I just realized my team is super weak to ice type, so let's actually sacrifice Shade on use Talon. Look at that, we're both using weird little picks here. I, we love to see it, you love to see it. Okay, that's fair. That's fair, that did a lot of damage for a fake out. Hell yeah, this, I wonder what this, the Chaydot's like ability, like what what the Skitty's ability is. Like, why a Skitty? That's so weird. But you'll love to see, like genuinely, I'm so happy. Damn, okay, I see it saying, yeah, that'll do it. That's really good. Okay, okay, okay. I'm really, just, I'm just gonna, hopefully the Chaydot will wake up. Why Charm? I'm clearly using special attacks. Unless you don't know if Chatter's special attack. Okay, they realized they fucked up. Uh, Gardevoir's gonna try and set up here. Oh, Tailwind petered out, okay. That's a weird trick. That's a weird setup, and I am interested. Also, yeah, these are both terrible switches. I guess Lucario's not actually that bad, because it does not need damage. So let's switch in Lucario and use Power Up Punch to do that. Calm Mind. Uh, do I think I can kill it with a life at extreme speed? I do not. So let's just get the damage. Yeah, okay. Yep, 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 yep. No! Come on! Why? Okay, I still don't think I can kill it with an extreme speed, so... Yeah. Alright, I think this is GG. I don't know if I have anything that can kill Gardevoir here. Uh, you're faster? But I doubt we can kill it? Let's just... Oh, wait, no. Fuck, I have to use Iron Head. Oh, good! Okay, 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 okay. Woo! Okay. okay. <laughs> I can't believe that fucking Meteor Bash missed. Oh, well. Mr. Mime is an Ice type. It has a Choice Scarf. It is 1,000% going to be faster, so we'll switch in Gastron and could eat a hit. I'm so sorry that you are using Hypnosis. But you have a choice, Scarf. Gastrodon is fast asleep. My rest saw Gastrodon! <laughs> oh, I, I wasn't expecting hypnosis. I got so lucky there. I got so lucky. It's okay. Damn it. Okay, 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 okay. That is the drawback of rest talk, because sometimes you can just use rest. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, critical hit. <laughs> Damn it, no! All right, we need, it's gonna use high jump kick again. We need to switch out this card. And now, 
You have used high jump kick every single time, so that makes me think that the, the low bunny might have a choice item. So we're just gonna fling, because it's gonna switch out. Oh no, it's not gonna switch out. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna heal. I'm just gonna heal. Am I gonna heal this? <laughs> That's a lot of healing. Uh, what's it gonna switch into? It might switch into Mr. Mime, so let's just earthquake. No Vaporeon. Okay, that's fair. So watch. Now, it's... The Vaporeon is going to use a water type move. Mark my words. Oh no! Okay, okay, that's fair. We're gonna rest though. It might survive. I might survive. I don't know what moves Vaporeon is. So now I am in control, though. Like, now I have, um... Yeah, okay. Now I'm in control. I only have two turns of sleep. Now I won't... No! Okay, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna wait until Gastron wakes up. It was worth it to get Gastron healed up like that. Earth power, please. <laughs> please give me Earth power. Um... The Vaporeon's gonna be a fucking problem, because Garchomp's gonna have a hard time dealing with it, especially if it has a Water-type move. Yeah. I will be able to do it. Shadow Ball does 24% of my health. Uh, I can eat two of them. I can eat two. I can eat two. Yes, 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 yes. So the Earth Power is the move. <laughs> I can't. I couldn't. Oh, no, no. I can't eat two of them anymore. Now I'm dead. I'm just dead. Uh, if I manage to survive. Yeah, yeah, okay. That, that killed me. That killed me. I would have survived. Now, can I kill this Vaporeon in one hit? And the answer is definitely yes. <laughs> Imagine using a Z-move on a Pokemon with 29% health just because you're so scared of it. Now, the Mr. Mime has a fucking, uh... The Mr. Mine has a choice card, so I am going to die. Garchomp is going to die with whatever move. So let's just use Outrage. Oh, yes! Okay, well, that's that's come up as for Meteor Mash missing before. Uh, Outrage. Fake out. Yeah, that's fair. That'll do it. But I think I won. I won. Because Kitty can't kill Gliscor, because Gliscor is toxic, so you can't be put to sleep. And Lopunny can't actually beat Gliscor because Lopunny's DPS is just not high enough to outpace my healing. So I have won this match. <laughs> Woo! That was a good match! That was a good fight! Good fight, good fight, good fight, good fight, good fight. Um, yeah. Oh, I loved, I love Pokemon competitive. I love it. Man, I am getting a little disappointed that competitive probably won't be a thing for a Diamond Pro remake, but yeah. Uh, this is going to Mega Evolve. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Mew! Interesting! We're gonna chatter. Uh, yeah, we're gonna chatter and put it to confuse it. I am faster! I am faster. I wasn't sure if I would be faster. Ooh, I get to take a hit! Okay, we're gonna use Boom Burst then. Wow, Boom Burst is no fucking damage! <laughs> Alright. We're gonna Moonburst again. Uh, I'm gonna die next turn because uh, I'm 99% sure all of those Pokemon outspeed me. <laughs> so even if I use Tailwind, there's no point. Like, I'm just gonna die next turn. Yeah, Skeptile, I'm like 99% sure outspeeds me, so. I'm just gonna let myself die. Like, Che, that's not gonna do anything against any of those Pokemon. Um. Uh, Power Punch. Uh, 
Uh, by the way, what are the clauses? Oh, which game moves are bad. Forcing endless battles are bad. So there is no clause on... Yeah, you can do this now and show that. I know, I found that out last time I streamed it. That's so good. I have to really look at the, up the commands. Why do you want Focus Splash, you bitch? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Energy Ball and Focus Splash? I don't have, I don't have the tools to deal with that. I do have a tool and you're just going to die. You need to die. This, this Skeptile needs to die. <laughs> Unless, of course, it also has a Dragon Pulse. It's to die. <laughs> I need that Skeptile to be not around. Now, granted, every single thing on his team is feeds mine. So I think I've lost this match. But also, uh, if I play the Greninja right, I might be able to get the boost on the Gashadon. Maybe. I haven't lost yet. Still in the fight. <laughs> Regilecki? Interesting. I wonder what move this has. Uh, you don't have Levitate, do you? I don't know what Transistor does. What's the Regilecki doing? It's a good thing that the Gengar doesn't have Levitate, now that I'm thinking about it, because maybe that Regilecki was a mistake switch, but if the Gengar had Levitate, they could have just switched back to Gengar. Whatever. Interesting. Why? Were you just trying to see what I was going to do? I was going to do this Earthquake. What the fuck else was going to do? Guard What's happening? Why did you do that? Oh, so it has Ice Beam? God damn it. Oh, if it gets a kill, it evolves. Oh, I'm done. Well, at least Gastrodon is good. It's really strong. <laughs> I forgot about Battle Bonds. It's been a while. Because I was just expecting Protein. Protein? Protein? Whatever it was. Maybe I should have used Outrage. Outrage would not have killed it. It doesn't do enough. Yeah, okay. So I am still in it. I don't know what the Regilecki can do. I, I have no idea what Regilecki can do. Gengar I'm a little scared of, but also it probably has Roller, which I'm not scared of at all. Let's just use Scald, because I'm very... No, Earth Power. They're both, weak to, they're both weak to ground, so there's no way that that was a counterplay to me throwing out Earth Power. Yeah, I'm only weak to Grass, so if you have HP Grass, I'm fucked. You're going to do no damage because Gastrodon is a fucking tank. I bet what they're expecting is that Gengar will be able to kill them. That's probably what they're expecting. So let me... Oh, no! Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> Rest talk, baby. If you get burned, I just win. It's happening again! This happened last time! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll just let Gastrodon die. There was nothing I could... I could have switched into Gl Gl Gliscor, but... It, G Gengar's gonna outspeed Gliscor, so and I'm not sure if Gliscor can two, like survive two. It's a Shadow Ball, so we're just gonna we're just gonna earthquake. Like, Cause you have Curse Body. I think this is it. I think this is it. I think this is GG. Uh... Wait, who won? Yeah, no, Destiny Bond doesn't win you the battle, friend. Destiny Bond does not win you to battle. Because you fainted first. Same with Explosion. Explosion does not win you to battle either, I think. I think. I'm actually not sure about Explosion. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, Explosion doesn't win. 
All right, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more. And we're gonna do one more and then we'll call it for tonight. We'll call it for tonight. Jesus Christ, I'm so used to streaming and not the morning. <laughs> I can't believe it's like 11.30. I have woken up significantly since the conference started. Man, Pokemon, we love Pokemon. We all love Pokemon. Pokemon's great. I guarantee that Swamp Rider is Swiss Tech. I don't want to know what Hatterene does. Oh, weird. Hatterene didn't have an item? That's so weird. I'm going to stealth rock, though. Because, uh... Mm, no, no, I'm not going to stealth rock. The only, nothing takes super effective damage except for Heatron. Uh, Heatron. Rotom Heat. So we're going to... Yeah, we're going to... Fuck! Damn it! Uh, explosion. Okay, fine. No! It didn't matter. It didn't matter. I was just gonna blow up. You wanna play? You wanna play in Trick Room? Because I can play in Trick Room if you want to play in Trick Room. Uh, Scald. Of course. You're. Uh, yeah, the extra chill is just going to die. Trick Room, there's nothing you can do in Trick Room. Nothing extra Jill can do in Trick Room. <laughs> Toxapex! Okay, I wonder if the Toxapex is going to use Toxic on me and if I should switch to Gliscor. Toxic Spikes? Okay, that's fine. I'm going to waste my Toxic because I truly don't care. I just truly do not care. <laughs> I just wanted to get rid of it. So, Skarmory. What is Skarmory going to do? We're going to find out by switching to Rikari on getting rid of the Toxic Spikes. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, that's fair. That's a problem. Um, I don't have any good moves. So I'm just going to use Outrage? Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, uh, no, okay, it didn't, it doesn't, it doesn't stay. Okay, we're just gonna use Iron Head then. Weird. I guess, I guess they're just like waiting out my Garchomp. I guess they were expecting me to use Earthquake on Garchomp, because who the fuck runs Iron Head on Garchomp? Yeah, I mean, Garchomp was gonna die. Garchomp didn't have much going on. But this does mean we can send out... Gliscor. And Gliscor is going to use Acrobatics. And it's just going to get Whirlwind away. I think Skarmory is going to use Whirlwind. If not, Skarmory is going to switch. Because I can't do a lot of damage to Skarmory. Ah, oh, Rocky Helmet, of course. Ah, no! Okay, well then, this is just going to be a stalemate until I get Whirlwind through the way. Unfortunate. Um... Whatever, we'll just get whirlwinded away. Or unless they get body pressed. Because I also have roost. Like, Skarmory. Dang it. I kind of wish... Eh, it didn't matter. If I was slower, I would have been able to earthquake Skarmory when it uses roost, but whatever. Why would you use Defog? What the fuck was your plan? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Fine. What the fuck was your plan? Why did you use Defog? I really should have close combat in here. I know I didn't want to because I was like, oh, surprise attack. Uh, the Swampert's going to make it evolve, but I'm still faster. I really should have had close combat in here. That was definitely a missed opportunity. But we're going to use weak Swampert. Oh, whoops. I don't remember if Swampert resists steel types. I'm like 80% sure it does. Resistance steel. Yep, okay. Fuck me. Uh, my most damaging move, I guess, is Extreme Speed? No, I guess Power Push. Is Are you going to use Earthquake? You're just going to use Earthquake. Yeah, I figured. I should have I switched to Gliscor. That was definitely the play. 
Or Chaydot, actually. Chaydot should have, would have been a good move. But we're gonna use Chatter, because Chaydot's gonna move first. So you don't have Swift Swim up. Oh, I don't get the Throw Spray boost if it protects? That sucks. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Boom Burst. If, if Toxic lost 24% of its health on that, then Boom Burst is actually going to do some damage. I would have assumed that Toxic is, like, way bulkier, but... Yeah. <laughs> Boom Burst is so fucking good. It's like, it makes up for the fact that Chainot is dog shit by just being Boom Burst. You love to see it. Because who the fuck expects a Chaydot sweep? Also, they're gonna switch to Skarmory now that they know that Boomburst is a normal tank move. And who the fuck expects Chaydot to know Heat Wave? That's like bullshit. <laughs> GG's. X Control, okay. Here's how X Controls can still win. <laughs> okay. Chaytot right here. I'm so glad this is... I said this was going to be the last match, and I'm so glad that this is the last match. Chaytot is a hero. Never underestimate a Pokemon I can learn food first. But also never underestimate Chaytot. <laughs> never underestimate the weak Pokemon you're going to see. And, like, obviously, Hatcherisa is super good and all that. But we're just going to use Heat Wave. GG. GG. Was it my rating higher than that? I thought it was. It doesn't matter. We're going to upload this replay and we're going to put this one on Twitter. Holy shit. Is it a good replay? All right. I am calling stream here. I am going to go eat lunch. Thank you for everyone who's come. I know there's only one of you left, but that's okay. Thank you so much for coming. I had a blast. I fucking love Pokemon. Pokemon is everything to me. Pokemon is a lot. I love it. I love Pokemon so much. How many times can I say it in one go? Many more probably. Pokemon is so good. I'm Absolutely. I'm so glad you showed up. I'm so glad how well that team did. I wasn't expecting much from it because like it is a Gen 4 team and that does limit me to a lot of Pokemon that have been power creeped out. But like trick choice scarf always oh, trick choice scarf explosion those are always good moves to put on a lead garchomp is just garchomp lucario i should have put close combat instead of uh crunch on lucario but you live you live you learn yeah it's i i, I did really well with that team i did way better than i expected to and shaytot is just nobody nobody expects shaytot nobody expects shaytot and we love to see her we love to see her she's a wonderful so let's see, uh, I'm gonna turn the capture off. Actually, I'll just open a new tab. Um, I don't care. Uh... Oh, absolutely! I'm glad you watched it. I'm glad you, I'm glad. I'm so glad you tuned in for, okay, that actually does mean a lot that you tuned into my stream for my stream and less because of the Pokemon presentation. That means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. I'm finding someone to raid right now, but thank you so much. Uh, anyone I know streaming? Probably not because it is, it do be 1130 in the EST. Nobody I know is streaming. That is fine. Who's streaming Pokemon Showdown? Uh, one person with two viewers. Okay, uh, they seem cool. I don't know anything. Oh, let me turn the Chrome capture off real quick. So that there's no, oh, the, uh, the sound capture off. So that you don't have to hear what they are saying. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm I'm rating this person. All right. It's gonna work. Yes. Two viewers. Hell yeah! Thank you so much for showing up, everyone. I had such a blast. Pokemon is just my life I, I always always play pokemon i always love it i always have so much fun 
Have a nice day, Kamu. Absolutely. You too. Absolutely, you have a nice day. I love you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm about to hit the raid button. Have a great day.